Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with my awesome friend slash actor slash motorcycle rider here. Just everything. <laughs> was that say stay humble? Stay humble, so, yeah. Stay humble. We gotta bring that yeah. down. Move this out the way. Right. Uh, oh, we got we got a ghetto little setup here. So, excuse the mess. This is how men work. Okay. Right. Okay. Hey, you work with what you got. You know. Yeah. So. Do me a favor. Keep it right here. See how you're talking? Yeah. Yeah. yeah just so we can hear right. you. Okay. Right, yeah. Cool, man. Uh, so what's up, man? I know yeah. we, we already saw each other, but yeah. just for everybody else to see. Uh, you know, just uh, you know, catching up. I'm glad uh, you know, reached out to me, and I was like, I was definitely down for doing this. Um, when I saw you uh, posting videos about your podcast on Instagram, I was like, that'd be pretty dope. You know, I'd, I'd love to come by and you know discuss some some things here and there with you. You know, I'm open to anything, really. Yeah. Yeah. You you comfortable like that, by the way? I, I'm. You want to turn this way, or are you good? I don't know. Can, if I it, turn it, this you're way, like this. You're like. So I kind of like, didn't want. <laughs> don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. No, don't worry about the <laughs> contraption in the back behind right. us. No, but like, cause you're like this, yo. Uh, so well, like, you know, you look uh, really hot doing it was, that. So it was like, kind of like, um, <laughs> how how should I sit like that? Nah, or? whatever. <laughs> just be comfortable. Uh, I was yeah. just trying to appeal to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> the camera can see us. The, the, you know, the, they're the, most. Uh, this is mainly for YouTube people, but the yeah. uh, audio is where it's at. That's really where I focus on, cause it's, you know the podcast. Yeah. But uh, that's what I say. <laughs> just try to focus on the mic. Got fuck, it. fuck all this shit. I, I'll figure that out. <laughs> this is my ghetto way of uh, having a studio, or whatever. <laughs> so, don't okay. fucking judge us. Hey, again, work with what you got. What yeah, you motherfuckers, have. don't make any excuses. Play the card you're dealt, dude. Like. Speaking, yeah, speaking of the cards that we were dealt, remember when uh, we first worked on my film, my first film, or Which, we worked on a bunch of films before that. Like, but I can't remember a bunch the, of shit. The first one was. Um, that silence of darkness was that the first that one was the one that was like the official one the official. that but what did we work with <laughs> do you remember anything do you remember like we, as far as like our approach like what just, we did what no i'm saying like the equipment that we had bro you know? so we had um we had your dslr um to record footage yeah. um as far as for sound i was the actor in the scene but I was also boom operated, holding it to my side like like that yeah. during during the scene, <laughs> yeah. and making sure like my lines uh, are going directly to the boom mic that is out of frame, but like literally like right next to me. So it was literally just like the two of us shooting most of um of most of Silence of Darkness. Of course, you know we had Mike and Nandi for one of the scenes, so they were able to help with a bit of the equipment there. Yeah, but we even had lighting set up too that yeah. we would hook up um with some extension cords going all the way outside <laughs> dude it yeah. was uh, it was insane i dude. hooked it i remember when i first did it i was like i want this to look like an actual like uh lighting setup so i, I bought a couple of dollar store buckets you remember that i remember yeah, that yeah, yeah. you cracked the hole in all <laughs> I of the cracked in the <laughs> hole in all of them in the center and i just said fuck it i'm gonna put the fucking clamp light that i bought from home depot they're like five dollar clamp lights and I put the floodlights. Uh, I, I think I was using the big bulbs that I bought from eBay because I didn't know anything about lighting. So I just bought. I thought I had to buy a kit from eBay. Whatever. Long story short, I thought we were get. I was just ghetto shit. I remember even putting in, like uh, wax paper in front of the bucket so I can block the 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 fucking light. I forget what it's yeah. called. Diffuse the light. Yeah, yeah. And I was just trying to be creative so we we can be creative and fucking work and. I was so happy with the film, man. Overall, yeah. you're, you're, I just wanted you just, just full on acting, no talking. It was just full on, you know, just you and whatever the hell is in the house. Yeah. And like, I wanted to, did, to, I mean, to this day, my family still watches that. A word? Yeah, my sisters <laughs> and uh, my uh, little That's sister great. watches it. My uh, my cousin, my uncle, like they would like every now and then. Like I feel like every year, every once a year, they'll bring it up. It's like, hey, do uh, you have the link to that um, the one thing you filmed back in the day? I was like, yeah, yeah. It's Silence of the Darkness. Yeah, yeah, That's awesome. <laughs> I think. Oh, uh, high ride, high ground. That's so fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you just you just did that. I was thinking it, so it's like we just connected yeah. our thoughts, and you were like, oh, high rise, and I was just like, wait, what's it called? High ground, high rise, something like that. Yeah, yeah. but that was our first project that we worked on because and yeah. we used a cell phone for that one we did yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, i remember it was you and james 
right? It was just it was you and James three. and me. Oh yeah, yeah. me too. Because uh, of course I wanted Who, to be included. Whoever were not in the uh, the frame. Yeah, well, actually, you were recording all of it. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. recording all, all of it, and it was just you. It was who? Was it was just else? me and James. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Doing a shootout. That that was fucking hot too, man. You know how much time I took to edit that shit. <laughs> it, it, I still remember your scene. Wait, when uh, like why are we shooting at each other? I don't know. It's kind of epic. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Whatever the fuck I said. My favorite. Oh, that's you. You were in there. Yeah. You were, okay, yeah, because. My favorite part was that part uh, that when you were when you were uh, fuck what the hell you said when James came up to you. Look, man. <laughs> oh yeah, look, man. And then uh, James said it. Yeah. And he was like that was my fucking nappy time. Oh yeah, that <laughs> was my fucking nappy time. <laughs> Bow, I shot him. Anyway, that was our first actual project, and that's yeah. what it started, kicked it off, and then we did other things. Yeah, we caught that. Um, we caught that high of just like filming something you know yeah filming something and uh bringing it out to the world to show you guys sorry and um i'm I ain't know what the sound dude i'm sorry I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just move it closer yeah i mean like um we caught that high of just wanting to film things that's like everyone when um they get into that they record something it's like yo this is dope shit like we need to you know brainstorm think of something to record and you know do stuff and to this day i still i still do that i still um you know, I talk with my buddy TK, who uh, films as well, and um, he's the one that helped with those IG TV series that I've been um, working on with him as well, and the other actors like Barbie and um, the Once More crew, uh, just bringing that out to IG TV, and you guys can catch that on my profile if you're able to link What's that. What's your Instagram? <laughs> I'm going to give that plug right now. So, What's your Instagram, man? Uh, Instagram is D Kong K U O N G. Um, you can just find me on Instagram, add me, you'll see a picture of, uh, my headshot, I believe with a blue tie and all that. So yeah, looking fly, <laughs> Man, you look a fly guy. And if you see like posting of a green motorcycle, then that's definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see him riding that yeah. green motorcycle with the stay humble, uh, what do you call it? Helmet. Make sure you, yeah. you know, challenge him to a race. <laughs> He's just going to look at you and say, okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I'm just cruising. <laughs> Yeah, but um, going back to uh, like brainstorming for things to film, mm -hmm. that's kind of how it just kept happening, you know. And then I'm talking with TK, I was like, dude, we should definitely like film more, you know, things, you know. And then we think of stuff like that sounds pretty dope. Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So and then you know some of the projects they they don't work. They um you know they're a flop, but we got they're fun. You know, experimenting, learning new things about it. So it's worth trying you know it doesn't you can't just sit there and be like oh it's not gonna work and you know i'm not yeah. gonna try yeah. to film it. yeah so yeah. <laughs> i mean it was fun going out and doing that and um i'm pretty sure you probably saw like videos like back in the day where like um i posted like some kind of like martial arts style Dude, black, and vid black and white video I had. oh oh no i didn't see that one yeah but i thought you were talking about the other one oh, you in the sure. park oh my god you were like sexy in that video the one where they had like weapons right the one when you were like doing some crazy kicks and shit like, that's the one i'm referring to yeah oh uh, yeah. man dude i was like yo this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> i was like i'm jealous right now because i was like i want to do that like I, yo, I was like yeah i even hit you up i was like yo what's up man we try i'm trying to work with you bro literally <laughs> Uh, TK was uh, We were about to go Hang out with like A few friends And then we were like Hmm Yo You trying to like Film something right now Like I see this dope park Over there And then um, It was, like Seems like good Like space to Like for you to Bring your weapons out And do some moves and oh I'm like God, yeah. yeah And it's um, like Three blocks away from my house so I was like Yeah Alright Let's <laughs> go <laughs> That's what it's about then, man really just On the spot To shoot the shit Let's shoot the shit Yeah, yeah. And that's how that happened. And I think it's just like, it's so fun to just go out and do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that, that's how we um we started, just yeah. like filming stuff. Yeah. You know, film uh, the Jack Jones series with um, the Once More crew and then branching out into other projects that we did, like High Ground and um, Silence Darkness. Yeah. Which, again, like I said, like my family still watches to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I, so. I just thought about another one we did. We did so much together. I, didn't, I just yeah. realized that because uh, we did the little fight club scene. Oh, uh, yeah, we my, did. My, one of my favorite ones. Uh, I can't watch. I don't oh, know. You, don't, you didn't me, like that? For me you didn't personally, like that? Like, uh, I didn't like how... 
Like I uh, was delivering. <laughs> nah, it was still cool, man. I liked yeah. it. I liked the way it came. It was out. a fun project. I yeah. didn't care about the acting part. I was like, "Fuck it, we did good." I mean, the cinematography was on point. Yeah, I, Thanks, I liked man. how it looked. Yeah. yeah. I forget. I, I don't. I, I don't want to take credit. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear you. No, I remember you said. I remember you. You were saying. I was like, "Fuck." I felt yeah. bad, but no, I was like, it it did, to me, it didn't. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I know you're. You, you know, you're just. You know, I'm always criticized. Hard myself. Yeah, me too. I feel you. I'm the same way. But uh, what about um. My fucking random... What the fuck did I call it? The uh, Kung Fu one that we did. Dude, oh, yeah, we did film a lot. How'd yeah. you feel about I wanted to actually I like you, that one. Okay. I like that a lot. Yeah. Because I watch it, and th- today's world, I feel like it's offensive. So it's, I was offensive. Just, it's very offensive. Is it? it? I mean, like, for me, not, but... Uh, uh, is it offensive? That's why I was <laughs> I just like... I can see where you're coming from, though. Yeah. It's like as if Dave Chappelle's episodes, like, would just come back into, like, modern day. And, yeah. Like, would not be accepted. It's kind of like in that category. <laughs> Cause I was like watching, it, I was like, "Fuck, man, this is amazing!" And I was like, "Oh, this is pretty offensive to people, probably." Oh, because yeah. I'm using, I'm using like the fucking, uh, I think I don't know what if it's Japanese or Chinese, whatever music that I was using. It's probably Chinese. Yeah. Chinese. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I, I was mixing cultures. Probably I was doing all sh- different shit. Cause I was just trying to have fun. I was yeah. trying to make a kung fu short yeah. clip. Like, but it. It translated into that just fine. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And you have an Asian person in <laughs> I'm not saying that's you, an excuse. First of all, I'm not saying the reason why yeah, no, <laughs> the reason why you it wasn't because you're Asian, it's because you had the skills. You yeah. knew how to do the, the kicks and shit. Like I, I me, I'm I, I look fat in that video. <laughs> I wasn't really I wasn't really fat, but I just looked like I was out of shape and I was just like Bleh. like I don't know. Well, it was fun though. Regardless. It was fun. It was fun. And, um, I, I still love that video. I showed my kids that video. I show everybody that video. Yeah. It's like one of my favorite videos that I did because um, I always wanted to make a kung fu film. Yeah. Like that. Remember, I was telling you about the kung fu film idea I had with you. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I finished the script sort of. I think. I don't know what I did with it, but we never did. We never went on. That was. I think that was the last project we were supposed to work on, or the yeah. next one. And it just never happened. And, and then we just kind of like went on to do like yeah. our own things after that. Yeah. But that's kind of like how it is. Like the consistency, once like you take a little small break, it turns into a big break. And yeah. Then, yeah. But I mean, like, hey, we're still here. So, yeah. And know, we're here now. If like, and an it's... idea comes up yeah. and really want to do this idea, then I'm up for it. Exactly, man. man. <laughs> I have, uh, I still get film ideas, man. I, I have like a bunch of them. Like now I got one, a martial arts movie that I want to do. But uh, it's like, I want to be realistic with uh, this idea. Like, I want to really do it. But I'm like, you know what? Let me get there. That, so mm-hmm. you know how people, they always say, uh, set high goals. What if, What's it called? Uh, what was it? Reach for the stars or something re- like that? Yeah, something, something like, like that. that. The re- don't, set, don't have any limits for your goals, basically. Just mm-hmm. go for the fucking top, the over the top. Like, yeah. whatever it is that you want to do, go, go past that, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Making a film is is right there, a past that, because it's hard to make a fucking film, like a legit film. I'm talking about releasing it on, on, on not, I don't know about theaters, but now everything's streaming and shit. But yeah. you know, getting it on Netflix, whatever. Uh, but that, it, what I, my idea is going to require some money and blah blah blah. So I'm trying to work small. So this is where mm-hmm. I'm at right now, yeah. podcasting. You know, I told you about the other idea. And I'm I'm just gonna work my way there mm-hmm. and get back into filmmaking because I stopped doing it because I was just like the fuck am I doing this for? Um, being honest, mm-hmm. I was just I didn't like the environment that I was working with. Uh, being a cinematographer is awesome; it's an amazing thing. But of course, with filmmaking, it requires mm-hmm. you to work with people, you know, yeah, yeah. and you have to deal with people if you want to work with them. And, and that's the tough part too about that. Like you're. Uh, dealing with like a lot of people, so you're dealing with a lot of different schedules and different egos and different <laughs> you know things egos. like that. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, you know, it's di- different personalities too, and just trying to like group all of that together and then make a film. Yeah, that's it's difficult in itself with all of that you know all those factors into it, and then you have set crew and all of that yeah. if you're going for that kind of budget. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And I think for us, it worked so well because we're already like friends and we're like you know hang out and we're already acted together on stage so it was just perfectly fine like we can get that done mm-hmm. but if you're getting like a big film with like more you know characters more actors and stuff like that then it all depends yeah you know that's why i wanted to keep it minimum i was mm-hmm. like i want to make stories that just you just two you. people or just one you people. and then i'll be behind the camera 
And then I'll maybe get I'll go in front of the camera a little bit, but that's it. <laughs> we'll be doing like a Tom Brady spoof of remember the Hulu commercial that he did for the No, I don't remember. For the Super Bowl? No, nah. I was I was thinking about that on the way here. It was like it'd be pretty funny if like we filmed something like that. I'm just like talking to the camera as you're like panning. <laughs> panning uh, and then I'm just walking along the side and just I don't know. Something that's funny. stupid like that. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, but Yeah, man. I, I fucking love filmmaking. It's like you know, I and I love doing it so. Like you know mm. what I mean? You you know what I was what we were doing together? Yeah, I just, yeah. I felt like we were on our way. Like I was like, oh my god, we're gonna we're going yeah. we're going somewhere with this shit. Right. And I thought me and you were gonna like just, whew, you know, sky's right. the limit. But uh, again, just you know, uh, you know, life happens, of mm. course, and you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. And I'm happy you're still fucking acting though. Like I'm still, I stopped doing it because I I, got, I want to do other things. And that's fine. Yeah, Dude, that's perfectly fine. Like, yeah, you know, it, it goes back to that whole thing where like you know our, our parents or somebody would tell us like you know what you tell yourself you're gonna be in the future might not you know be the same when you get there. You know, like that age, like once you get older, you might not want to be a doctor anymore. You might not want to be an actor anymore, and all of that. Um, things change, you know, you might find a certain passion about something else and you branch towards that more, Yeah. you know, um, like coming out of high school, bro, I, I was a art major the whole time. I never acted a day in my life until I met Peggy in college. So everything before that, I was just a art major. I was just graphic designing was like my thing that I wanted to do. Mm. I don't know why, but <laughs> <laughs> but we just pick something. So I know I'll you. Do it. I'll yeah, do this. I mean, yeah, as a kid, you just pick something. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. I like I, this. I, I want to do that. Yeah. yeah. So I draw. Uh, drew a lot. I you know sculpted and um, did a lot of like designs and all that. A lot of stuff in the the art realm, and then getting into college, uh, just fell out of it. Like I did not enjoy it at all. Cause then when you like put five hours into like a work of art, you know, and then it gets great and you get like a B or a C for it. You're like, the f- I don't know if I can swear on this, but you can curse. All right. I, I don't know what the fuck that was about. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, <God. laughs> yeah. so yeah, yeah, I was just like, dude, this is so discouraging. And uh, I felt out of it. Yeah. I was like, this is just not for me. I don't want to do this anymore. So then I felt like I wanted to drop out of college. And then I was just going to be like, okay, let me give it another semester. And let me go for, like, what everybody goes for, like, communication arts, you know, liberal arts and all that, liberal mm, studies. That's what I did. So yeah. That's what we all did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we ran out of ideas and we are just like, let me just explore all of them and then mm. see what I like. Mm. So, and then that's how it started. I took acting one as a general elective because I wanted to be more open. I was a shy person i didn't talk much i didn't like you know i wasn't like open uh to people a lot so i wanted to like open myself up more same take acting and you know maybe get out of that bubble right and that's when i met peggy for acting one and you know stuck with peggy to to this day you know still still with her and um putting on shows at plays and players theater so (laughs) plug 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 plug. (laughs) (laughs) yeah and you know, it's been a wild ride. It was that 2010, since then, 2010, 2009 or so. Mm. So, yeah, I've been sticking with acting ever since because it just clicked with me. I was just like, this is what I want to do. And you, so a lot of actors, they, they want to get paid, right? They mm-hmm. want to make a living off of it. Right, like, right. Did you have that in your mind? Like, oh, I need to get... Like, need to get, what, make millions and stuff? Yeah, I want to be... <laughs> I want to Hollywood. I want to go to LA. And go. I mean, like, Were you? Did you have those goals, or did you say, this This is legit, I like this, I want to stay here? I want to stay here, and it didn't matter. You had that the whole time, yeah. like, when you first started? Yeah, when I first started. Because I, I, no, I know what you mean. Like, normally, like, when people first start acting... When people first start acting, <laughs> like, um, they want to just go like, oh, I got to go to New York or L.A. And uh, that was me. That's the, I mean, that's a lot of us. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a go lot ahead. of us. And trust me, like, I thought I thought about it, but not for myself going. I thought yeah. about it. I was like, hmm, a lot of people seem to go, like, a lot of actors seem to go to, like, L.A. or New York and try to make, a, you know, a name for themselves out there. I just love the craft. I, I just love no matter where I'm at. That's why we can film. 
mm. and bring it out to the world. Mm. So I don't have to be there. Mm-hmm. But I just love the craft of just acting and performing and being this other character. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I mean, like getting out of my bubble when I uh, took acting one and so on and so forth. Yeah. I got out of my show where it's just like, Yo, I can be this. Yeah. I want to be like what a martial arts guy on film. I, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> like right off the bat, I'll go to that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. I would think. I'm sorry. I'm you, you thought I'm going just no, like no, something. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I would think you because I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. You, I, look, I love you, man. Like, I we haven't talked in a minute, and I yeah. just I miss you, dog. Yeah. But, likewise, man. Uh, it just, I'm getting emotional shit because I'm just happy right now that you're here. Anyway, <laughs> that's good. Ugh, I'm not acting. Hey, anyway, hey, it's genuine, this man. We've been through this for years, that, bro. Nah, for real. Through this for, for real, this though. Year. The reason why I'm laughing is because you wouldn't expect that from you. Usually, <laughs> I'm. You usually you'd be like, not oh, racist. You know, this is I, not racist. I could be like the hero of the story. Yeah, you know, I could be like um, yeah. that uh, spy or whatever. No, you. I just went straight on like, yo, I could be like a martial artist on film and like record that shit, yeah. and show the world that. <laughs> <laughs> me, because me, like right off the bat, <laughs> I'm Hispanic and I, I was ghetto, and I was like, I'm not being the ghetto guy. I want to be the lead actor. I want to be the. I want to be different. I, 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 you were just saying, <laughs> first I want to be the kung fu guy. <laughs> Fuck it. Come on. Yeah, the Let's first go. thing I say is a typecast <laughs> role, right? <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, no, that's... I, love, I love that because you totally different mindset than me. Because I told you my mindset was a whole different one, but that's awesome. Hey, well, we'll discuss race uh, in a little while because <laughs> yeah. in a funny way. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, yeah, you're good. But um, but yeah, it's just like, dude, I fell in love with uh, acting for its craft again. Yeah. Be whatever, spy, martial arts guy. Um, villain, hero, whatever, superhero, be in a costume, you play that role. It's just, I love, love this so much that it, it gives you a chance to just explore realms of your mind of like, you can be this person, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And you don't need years and years of training. You just need to research, Man. you know, what does this person do, you know? And then, um, let's say you're playing, um, let's say you're playing like a scientist. Mm-hmm. You don't need... 10 years to study, you know, oh, biology yeah. and all that stuff. You just understand the characteristics, understand like their mannerisms, how they talk, you know, how they um, uh, talk to other people and all of that. You just analyze that and put it into your own self as like, hmm, you know, just play it out that way and just put in your head like you're a scientist yeah. and just play it out that way. And Yes. Yeah. Tell or, me more. Or you can be like a <laughs> mad scientist. Mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, and, yeah. and maybe you're a ten. You know, you're playing a role of a rugby player. You know, you don't know a speck of rugby, but you know, maybe uh, you understand like small tricks here and there, and you understand like how um their personalities are, and you just pick a player and just try to you know mimic that a little bit, I guess. Right. You, know? <laughs> you just study the music, study the, what they do, how yeah. they move. You do that, and I, that's why I love acting so much that it didn't matter if i was in la it didn't matter if i was in new york that's good you know? i love that that's good and i love philly way too much you know shout out to philly but <laughs> <laughs> philly. <laughs> but i love i love this city um so much that i can't imagine myself you know being somewhere else yeah i can get a bad rap here and there and all that but it's whatever like this is my home i can't imagine living anywhere else and that's why I'm I'm completely fine here and acting here because I love the craft itself. That's all I can say about that. Just, no, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. That you found your passion and you're here and you're sticking mm-hmm. with it. You're just doing your thing. You are with plays and players, right? Mm-hmm. Plays and players. Plays and players. Plays and players, players yes. theater. And for uh your theater company, Once More Theater. And you are the Residential Theater Company of Plays and Players, which is a huge blessing um by uh linda who's um one of the boards of plays and players uh she chose us to you know be the residential theater company and that was just like holy crap like everything that we've been working on over the years and years to get to that point do you remember um pigs pigs no um so i think that's might might have been before uh you came in but pigs was a show that we performed 
uh, right around South Street at a magic shop that uh, closed down uh, probably a year or two after we performed. And this was back in like 2013, 2012. Hmm. Our first show on the road outside of CCP. And Man. we put on this show in a music, uh, no, in a magic uh, shop that had a, a small stage that um, fit around 30, 25 um, guests to come in. And, you know, coming from that, you know, just that kind of um, start and going back to CCP and putting shows there, doing the reach program that we did where we would go to jail and perform for... We would um, go to jail. Yeah, we would go to jail. I was, I was there when I <laughs> As a visitor, yeah. yeah. And we pref- would perform for the inmates there and because they had acting one over there, so we helped... Um, Kind of like um, teaching artists. Yeah, um, they, in a sense. Yeah. From did I don't know if you guys did anything different, but when I was there, we'd uh, we uh, what do you call it? We performed monologues for them. Yeah. They the 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 inmates would write monologues. That's how we did it. Yeah. And then uh uh we were acting for them and mm-hmm. we would perform right in front of them the inmates, which was fucking crazy, <laughs> which is crazy shit. We actually did that. Yeah. <laughs> we were in the visiting room performing as actors in front of these inmates who wrote these monologues uh-huh. crazy that right. that was like the one of that's something to remember but yeah go ahead and Sorry. we're all thinking the same thing it was like i do not want to fuck this up <laughs> yeah i don't want to get beat up <laughs> but then <laughs> fucked up my monologue you know what i mean like <laughs> but was what was interesting was that um that the inmates were just as scared as we are but in for a different that's fine. Se- for a different sense yeah. because they didn't they were afraid to perform. Ah, uh, yeah, know, I forgot about that. Because yeah. you know, it's um, it's, I don't want to say about inmates, but it's that shyness. You know, you you're yeah. afraid to go on stage in front of people. You know, and well, they they not they're not like us. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're in prison, and yeah. you know what I mean? Like, they, oh, man, I'm not they're not. That. Yeah, they're not. Inst- we like you went to school. You were always in, into creative arts, right? Yeah, just, I was always into creative arts. I was always inspiring to be an actor. That's why I went to school to, you know, I went to mm-hmm. CCP for acting. I actually took the communication artist program for acting. That's the only reason why I did it. Yeah. But anyway, the inmates, they're not trying to be actors. No. Like, they're like, what? Okay, yeah. I'll try yeah. it. And, but so that's why it's like, you know what I mean? I feel that there is hard shit for them. Like, yeah. But it's something new, it's something, you know, out of the ordinary for them. But it's amazing how, um, they grew to love it. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Even though it was an elective for them, they grew to love it because they got to create something, write it on a piece of paper, and have it for um, us, the actors, to perform it for them. And for them to see that and to you know see the feedback, it's like, bro, that was like, you know, dope. Like, you guys, you know, did a great job and all that. And, you know, thanking them for, you know, writing it for us to perform. It was just like, you know, I'm glad that we, you know, did that. You yeah. know, as crazy as it sounds on paper that we went to jail and performed yeah. it's, it's you know it's crazy it's time to put on your resume for sure <laughs> it's like we yeah. went to jail yeah but as actors <laughs> but i mean the experience itself like like i said it's just very treasurable that you know as artists that we can still relate in that sense right they're creating something and we're performing it for them it's that you know great connection that we can have as creative people and it you know even in jail so that was great to see that and again going back to um telling uh talking about how like where we came from like from pigs to the reach program which was in jail um going on to like doing more shows with plays and players and then linda choosing once more theater as the residential theater company for that you know building was just like holy crap all the all the things like that we've done all those years to reach to this point is just like a huge blessing. So that's why like I'm still acting. <laughs> yeah, man. That's awesome. How long have you been acting? Like how many years? I would say ten. Ten now? Ten fucking years. Ten years that's now. Great. Yeah. Ten years that's... and like and I still love it. Like even though I'm not like the big actors that's getting paid millions and all of that stuff and I'm not on like a sitcom or whatever, you know, I don't mm. I don't care. I just yeah. I love the craft, and that's why I still do it. Like I, I have another job. Like I, I'm a caterer, so I have another job on the side that will sustain me. But 
it's um it's part time, so it gives me that flexibility, so I have time to do what other things. Like, right. Which of course you guys probably see, um, on my Instagram that I'm constantly doing a lot of like other things. You know, <laughs> well the top three things I see you doing: acting, powerlifting. Or not, I, don't, I don't know about powerlifting. What is I, it? It's not power. It's just working out. It's working it's out. Just, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Strength training. I'm not I guess. Still yeah. good with the lingo. We're fucking working out, but uh, let's just uh, say powerlifting. I ain't trying to snap my shit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like you're you're fucking. I remember the. I can't do it, but I remember the one John that you did. You recorded a video. You were like. Douche, and then it showed the time, whatever it showed something, and then you were like working. I was like, Oh, this dude's hype! Oh, shit, son. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was cool, man. Was it the, the story that I recently put up? Nah, nah, this is like way when you first started working out. I think, oh man, I just remember when you were just you did this thing with your protein shake, you would you slam the cup there. Oh, I made like those small videos, yeah, yeah, yeah and I, I used, edited that. I, I used to like that. I was like, oh, this dude's hype, just get me hype. I would have worked out like that too. Yeah. I want to get buff, but I was like, I was going to do all that. <laughs> and that's kind of like how I wanted to approach it. Like, I like I don't want to seem like, okay, I'm posting this to try to show off. I'm not, that's not my goal to do that. I wanted to post that because I felt like I wanted to show like routines that people can maybe take in for themselves to do that you motivated me fuck when you slammed that fucking thing i was like oh what's gonna happen and work yeah. it out oh shit yeah and i didn't want to approach it in a way where it's like yeah you know i'm shouting into the camera like yo stop being a bitch and yo go lift <laughs> shit i didn't want to <laughs> no be like that and i didn't want to be like showing off and be like come on it's easy yeah, yeah, yeah i wanted to and i didn't even say a word like in those videos yeah i don't say anything i just put it in text yeah these, this is my routine. This is yeah. how I go about it. This is the form. Yeah. And that's why now I show the recorded video, the footage that I'm showing you the form of how like I would do it and it's proper and just maybe something you can try to do it for yourself in the gym. Right. So, yeah. And then like, I'm glad, you know, um, it reached out to you and I'm glad it worked. It pumped me up. Shit. I want to work out. I have my kettlebells. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> just, uh. <laughs> I just go out and do stuff. Man. Nah, yeah. I mean, like, when I, and I didn't even, like, start too long ago with um, training, like, heavy like that. I probably started, like, maybe two years ago. Right. And I uh, I can't remember when I did Tough Mudder, but I think it was, like, two years ago. And, you know, I was, like, not out of shape, but I was, like, mad skinny. I was just um, 135 at the time, and I was just weak and just, like, I was like, man. And then I'm looking at that um that kung fu film that we shot. I was like, damn, I was skinny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I show my wife like how you the the comparison. Uh, I I showed her who we, how you I said, look at this motherfucker. I said, look yeah, at him. Yeah. And I show how buff you are. I said, let me show you the other picture. <laughs> I, oh, I think you no, know, you you did a uh a, a side to side. I showed her that. And I said, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, she and I was like, I want to get big like that. She was like, no, no, no. I was like, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but good. I mean, it's not even that bad. Like, I'm no, not I, huge. No, I <laughs> know. No, no, yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. That side by side comparison. Yeah, let's um, let's go to that because when I I looked at like like I looked like that, I wanted to do something for myself because I felt when I did Tough Mudder, I felt pathetic. I was just like, dude, I could have did, I could have done so much better. Like mm. in my younger days, you know how he says, mm. like in, our, in my younger, younger days, days. I, I was in my prime. You yeah, know? yeah. used to be my strongest and all of that, and I was just like all of that was in my head. And then I just, you know, shut it up. And I was like, you know what? I have a gym in my basement. I have equipment. I'm just going to start working out. Word. I just, you know, I had no routine, no regiment, no nothing. Like, I just went to basics. Bench, curl, all the basic stuff. You know, all of that. Maybe a few squats with dumbbells and that's it. And then I started watching, like, a lot of videos on, like, training videos and all of that. Like, what they do, what they recommend. And which then, which ones like YouTube videos or YouTube videos? Yeah. Anything that you can recommend for anybody? Athlete X. If you look for Athlete X, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. So he's yeah. a good one. That dude's uh, like sixty and like buff as fuck. Or, yeah, you know. he's just mad cut. He looks he young, but he looks old at the same time. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, it's but, weird. Yeah. <laughs> Shout yeah. out to uh, Athlete X. Yeah, and then um Jeff Neppard Neppard. I can't say his name right. Jeff. Never on YouTube mm. as well. So it's like a lot of people. And then Bradley Martin. Um, I would watch uh, Barbell Brigade. A lot of people. And then I would look at how you know they approached it. And I was mm. like, hmm, okay. 
And then that's when I started to work out a lot smarter instead of like beating myself up. <laughs> because, and I tell a lot of people too, where in the gym, that's 20% of the battle. Mm -hmm. 80% is at home when you're eating and sleeping. Mm -hmm. Eat right and sleep right. Because there's no point of like going hard in the gym when you're just going to ruin it with a bad diet, you know? Mm -hmm. So, and then I started fixing up my diet, started fixing up my nutrition. And I'm not, like, I'm not on a diet. Like a lot of people think that I'm on like some kind of strict diet. I really just cut out a lot of like bad stuff, mm -hmm. you know, chips, sugars, cookies, and stuff like that. I'll eat it maybe once a week. That's it. But I won't, you know, do what I used to do, where I would sit in front of the TV and just munch, <laughs> and that'd be my that's my meal. Man, yeah, <laughs> take a little bite, take more bites, and yeah. then just eat the whole thing. Yeah, and I would. You know, it was a running joke with my roommates where um they leave a bag of cookies in front of the tv and it's gone the next hour because <laughs> yeah. i would watch them and just like eat the whole fuck it <laughs> yeah it's so, hard when you have the shit in front of you i noticed from experience when yeah. i try to do the same thing you're yeah. talking about just getting rid of all the processed foods all the sugars yeah. uh just trying you don't have to do much like mm -hmm. i don't know what you ate but i Healthy. told my wife i just want to eat steak yeah chicken and vegetables yeah. and you know some carbs with uh like yeah. potatoes sweet potatoes even was that was my yeah. pre-workout meal just throwing a, a sweet potato in the oven yeah and dicing that shit up like and then uh drizzle it with coconut oil mm. and that's okay. that's yeah. a good meal right there you yeah. have your fiber protein you have your carbs and, you know your vitamins from the vegetables you know having uh you know those things and you're good like you don't need um you know, to go on a crazy, like, vegetarian diet or stuff like that. Losing sure weight. I don't have to go vegan? No. Come on. No. Damn it. I mean. A carnivore diet. No. <laughs> <laughs> they have a lot, like, keto diet and all yeah, that stuff. Uh, like, if it works for you, fine. You know, God bless. But, yeah. um, you know, if it, and if it doesn't, then just try to do this, where you just eat less you know if your goal is to lose weight you go on a caloric deficit you eat less calories because if you replace all of your food with um healthy food you eat that a lot you eat a caloric um surplus which you're eating a lot of it because you're never full mm. you're gonna keep gaining weight and they're yeah. all healthy foods you know what yeah, i mean yeah, yeah. <laughs> why the fuck, I'm fuck. Why, why am i here not losing weight because you're losing weight. eating the shit ton of all i do is eat broccoli and Bread. Yeah, but how, how? Yeah, a lot of bread, right? <laughs> a lot of bread every moment of the day. You just grab what it eats, right? Yeah. So it just comes down to just eating less calories. It comes down to that. But yes, please do eat healthy. Yes, because the artificial sugars and all that that will still you know be a detriment to you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And so, no from experience. <laughs> and like when I, I used to love eating junk food all the time, but when I gave it up for a long period of time. Every time I go back to eating a little bit of it, it makes me feel sick. Yeah. Because my body grew used to not having it. Let me ask you a question. So when you, because this is, this is how I deal with it now. Uh, I, I just think it's fucking placebo, but maybe you can tell me. You just said it now, so maybe that's it. Mm. But I, I am like, I work for vending. I have candy all over me. <laughs> and it's really difficult because it's, yeah. you know, it's a I bunch work. of these little sneaker bars. I know. Eat me. Yeah. Whatever. So I'm like, fuck you. Shut up, a bitch. My stomach is like, eat that fucking uh, grandma cookie. Come on. Come on. No. And then I'll pick up the bag and then open it. Ah, oh, shit. It started. <laughs> just two. Just two. It started when you picked mm, up the bag. That's mm, why. Just two. <laughs> fuck. I want more. Okay. Just two more. That's it. That's it. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. But I got it. And then I fucking throw the whole bag out. Oh, yeah. wait. Two more. Let's <laughs> kick Two more. And then my stomach hurts. Yeah. Because I ate too much. Now, I wanted to ask you a question. Cause my, I keep telling my wife I can't eat sugar that much now because mm -hmm. the moment I go over my limit, so I could take a little bite of something, a Snicker bar. I can eat, I have ice cream and a Talinti ice cream, whatever that's called. I always yeah. I can take a uh, like two spoons and eat it, and I'm good. But if I go for third or fourth, it's my over. stomach is gonna be fucking, it's gonna fuck with me. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, do you think that's placebo, or do you think that's like my my body's like, yeah, what the it's fuck, you body. just you what the hell? It's your body. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely like what your body's used to. Um, you can keep eating it fine. Yeah. But if you all of a sudden just cut it out yeah, and then yeah. go back to it, yeah. you know, after a long period of not having it, it'll you know make you feel like shit. Right. 
Um, the whole thing about keto too, like when you go on keto, you're supposed to transition slowly into it. If you go right into keto right off the bat, day one, and then um, you'll feel the negative effects out of it because your body's not used to it. Mm. It's gonna possibly send it into shock, maybe, um, because you're you're throwing yourself into this new diet that your body's just not familiar with. Right. You know I mean, it needs those things, it, at least it, what it thinks it needs. Mm. Those, you know, absolutely needs those things. So, yeah, it's definitely like your body. I wouldn't say it's a placebo. No, I was just saying that because my wife, she says, it takes a while to digest. And I was like, but when I take a bite and I eat too much, yeah. it happens right away. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Here's another one. This is, this is for, this is, uh, what's it called? Uh, T, uh, TMI? Too much information? Too much information. This is too much information. Mm-hmm. But diarrhea. <laughs> no, not diarrhea. Sometimes when I eat some certain things, I have to fart. I get gas, and, I, and then I'm like, what the fuck? I just ate it, and it just, like, automatically, like, I have to fart right yeah. after I ate something. So I was like, holy shit, I need to stop eating that for sure, because if I got gas right after that, uh, okay, you know what I mean? Well, I'll say this about Fucking ga- I'll gas. Um, the healthier you eat- Tasty cakes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the healthier you eat, your fart's going to stink a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Some Wait, what? Oh, your fart worse? stinks a lot worse. Oh, <laughs> the fuck. The healthier you eat. Nah. I don't know if um, a lot eat, of people can eat. agree, but I know from a uh, few people that I know that I work out with and uh, their feedback from that. <laughs> I need to eat some asparagus. <laughs> Fucking all day. Well, I know that makes your pee stink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I say something with my ass things and I said asparagus, but, I don't know. You know, you tell yourself it's just you're letting go of all the bad stuff inside your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My wife knows about that. She talks about it all the time. So think of it like that, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Diets and shit. I it, Like you said in the beginning, if you want to fucking go on a diet, or not a diet, a lifestyle, I would suggest. That's what I, yeah. That's what it's called. Yeah. It's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. Don't look at a diet. Yeah. It's a, uh, you just cut out processed foods, mm-hmm. okay? The box products, the fucking shit that is in a, in a package and shit. Yeah. You need to go for the things that are, uh, what do you call it? Uh, help me with the word. Um, Artificial sugars. No, no, I'm. No, I'm saying uh, you need to go for the things that are like that are fresh. Oh, that you need, yeah. yeah go for they, that are that are gonna spoil. Yeah, you know what like I mean. Like cook, cook for yourself. You don't yeah, learn how cook to cook for yourself. Yeah, you know? yeah. Instead of making like box mashed potatoes, yeah. you can... stay away from those frozen meals. You know. Just, yeah. I mean, they do have lean cuisines in here and there. Yeah, you know, I don't know too much about the studies, but I guess if you, you know, can't avoid it, then sure. But you know, the best way to go about it is prep your own meals. You know, make it, make it yourself, you know, cook That's it. It's hard work. It is hard work. And God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but that, I mean, that comes down yeah. to like how early are you going to wake up in a day? Because then that, that way you'll have more time out of the day to do these things. Yeah. Um, a lot of times, uh, if you find yourself waking up after 11 or 12, which a lot of people tend to do because they work maybe night jobs or, you know, things like that, they just want to sleep in. So that takes away a lot of time out of your day where you could have prepped you know your cooking and all of that could have married you know set something to marinate in the fridge and all of that so it just time management man let me ask you a question about that because uh i know meal prepping um you have to microwave or oven bake your food like what a, what a, so what do you do you 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 meal prep right i'm assuming i try to oh you try to okay but i do cook whenever i know i'm gonna eat you know during the night because sometimes like with catering i'm already out during the night and i'm oh, gonna okay. eat there anyways oh gotcha so when you when you put it do you know when you put the food in the microwave i, I heard it fucks up the nutrients it i heard but i then i looked it up and said no and i said i don't fucking know what the fuck i mean it's not like you're gonna microwave a whole salad right that was a gordon ramsay joke but uh um yeah i mean like i don't know too much of the studies but it's if it's working for me and yeah. I have the results, I'm not gonna complain. So you put it in the microwave. You put yeah. okay. Yeah. That's what I was curious. I was like, Dude, what the fuck? I always see these meal plans. It's like, I mean, these uh, meal preps. I'm like, yeah. it says the microwave. Wait, that kills the nutrients. I heard. I don't fucking know. I don't know shit. Well, okay, then, I thought they do. I thought you're not supposed to do that, but if it works, it works. It works. Yeah. You know, if it works for me, I'm fine with it. Yeah. You know, I'm still getting nutrients out of it. I'm yeah. still having the energy, and still you know healthy and all of that. So I'm. Completely fine with a uh, microwaving. 
And the other thing, when you meal prep, let's say you got five, you know, you got your five fucking meals and it's all chicken, chicken, uh, white rice. Getting and, used to eating that every yeah, day, right? It, not that. It's uh, how long, I mean, let's say the fifth day. Mm-hmm. That chicken has been in that refrigerator for five days. That doesn't like taste weird or whatever. It doesn't go bad. No, I mean, like you have a limit, I would say four days. So, uh, so you can't do five days. I mean, I can't say that as a guarantee. Oh, but, okay. um, I stay safe on a four days kind of cycle where it's like I cook this this day. So I have four days to you know eat that. Right. So never go past a week, of course, because then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah you're just going to fuck your body. I'm yeah, going to go yeah, backwards. Yeah. yeah. You're going <laughs> to be absolutely. shitting upstairs and whatever the fuck yeah. comes out your asshole, crocodile. I don't know. I don't know. If you got a meal, meal prep, um, meal prep for the week and then. You're already eating one of the meals that day. Yeah. So the next four days, you have covered. Right. You know what I mean? You make everything, say, you know, Monday night. You'll prep everything. You eat Monday night one of the meals, and you have the four others for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Mm. And then over the weekend, you probably, you know, cook, you know, a bigger amount and then prep for lunch, dinner, and whatnot, maybe breakfast. Uh, let's say you're off work for that day, then you you have your day planned out for you know what you eat. Sunday, you know grocery shop or whatever you need to buy, like more fruits, veggies, or stuff. Then you spend that day doing that. Hmm. You know, and then Monday repeat the cycle. Too much work. <laughs> it, it is. It, it can I'm be. I'm lazy. Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to do that to be honest if I wanted to like take it serious, but yeah. I just uh, rely on my wife to be honest, because she helped me so much with I mean, that. You're lucky you have, you know, you have your wife. So yeah, I mean, <laughs> some, some people wake up with uh, nobody to help with that. <laughs> yeah. I cook me like once or twice a month, and that's it. It's on a Sunday, on yeah, a, and on weekends because every day I come home and it's like too late for me to cook, or I'm just tired of shit. Like honestly, if um, and I I feel you like. Meal prepping is uh, a task. It's a huge task to you know keep up every week. Like me, I don't meal prep day by day. I meal prep for like say the next three days. Yeah. Which I uh, cook up like a whole steak, put it in um, a Tupperware, and then put it in the fridge. You know, eat eat some of it that day. Right. And then um, uh, bake uh, potatoes, you know, in bulk and then store that in the fridge so I can have that as a carb source. Mm. And then veggies, I kind of settle with, like, uh, frozen veggies you get at the store. Oh, really? Uh, the cause packaged ve- veggies? Packaged veggies. Really? Because I can't buy um, the fresh veggies off the counter because I can't keep track of that. What do you mean? Like, I was like, oh, shit, I need to eat this today before they go bad. Um, you know what I mean? Because okay. then I forget about them. So those frozen veggies, are they still have nutrients? They still have whatever in it? I mean, they're not too bad. I wouldn't yeah. say, like, they're, you know, lack of nutrients. They mm. still have, like, a good amount in there. Mm. But, I mean, I again, I don't know too much of the science behind that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because we were talking about uh, the processed foods, and I, yeah. I thought that was, like, I don't know. I don't know shit. That's why I was. I mean, if it can't be helped, I would say uh, frozen veggies aren't too bad. Okay. Yeah. I would say um, go I, that route. You're not you... the only person I heard that eats frozen veggies. That's yeah. why I was like, oh, okay. Because if it can't be helped, if like you're not at home to prep, you know your veggies and yeah. eat them that day or the next day, then I say frozen veggies is that alternative. Hmm. So you have to go that route, then just take that route. Right. So that's uh that's how I usually approach uh, my meals. Like I would have everything just in the fridge ready, right? Freezer, frozen veggies. When I'm about to eat, I'll throw in the microwave. Um, the veggies, I'll defrost them and like have like a little like teaspoon of water in like um a container with the uh, broccoli's in there, mm-hmm. and um throw in the microwave for like three three minutes or so, just yeah. so it can all defrost and like I guess like you know steam up a little bit. And then throw that into the meal as well. You should do a so. cooking show. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, not really. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can record myself, like, cooking my meals and all that. Slam your protein shake. Boom! Yeah. I mean, I might go back to doing that. <laughs> when it comes to, like, workout routines and all of that, I'm more well-versed with. The nutrients and all of that, that's where um, a lot of my knowledge about that lacks. 
mm-hmm. where I do need to do a lot more research to understand it. But I've never taken like a nutrient class or anything like that. So yeah, and a lot of it comes down from me learning from like other people, like my cousin who took classes on that, or um, like some of these YouTubers who are saying this is good, this is bad, and stuff like that. Mm. Take it with a grain of salt, you know. Take it with a grain of salt. Take yeah. it to your little uh, your lab and see what works for you. Exactly, and if it works for you. And by all means, yeah, like know? sweet potatoes. I, no one told me to eat sweet potatoes. It's really good for you. Uh, yeah. Before working out, I tried it. I said, "Let me, let me eat this jar." Mm-hmm. Before I worked out, it gave me like energy. I don't know. I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah that feels <laughs> good." And I started hitting the bag, and I was like, "Yo, yeah. this fucking feels great. I'm gonna do this all the time, man." <laughs> it's just a hassle because it takes you like takes 24 minutes to heat in the oven. You yeah. know, it just takes long, so I have to like prepare it and get get it ready. But that's good. Yeah. I usually try to do that. I haven't worked out in long in a while, man. Like three weeks. Yeah. I'm trying to rest yeah. my body. But I, I mean, usually try to use that for meditation time. I mean, anyway. what what is your like goal from fitness? Like, do you? Oh, just to stay fit, man. So I can not die while I'm <laughs> getting punched in the face or rolling in jujitsu. So a lot of like cardio, then a lot of like. Yeah. Um, that's why I do kettlebells. Yeah, kettlebells. A lot of just. Um, you know, keeping a healthy heart rate. Yeah. And all of that. Uh, lung capacity and all. Um, some stuff, workouts that relates to that. Maybe high intensity training. I do. Uh, what I do is, uh, what do you call it? Calisthenics. That's what I love to do. Yeah. I just and that's do pull ups, push ups, sit ups. Yeah. Just basic shit. Squats. You know what I mean? Then I hit the, you know, there's days that I'll hit the kettlebell uh, twice a week. I do yoga mm-hmm. once a week. I used to anyway. My, my regimen. I had my own little. Yeah idea what worked out for me but it worked out and i was like this is it this is easy this it does, i don't have to go to a fucking gym right. i got t- i got two different kettlebells they're yeah. kind of light now but you get my point yeah i mean the reason why i asked like what's your goal is because um what really matters um before you start your venture on working out getting fit and all that good stuff some people they want to build muscle some people they want to gain weight to yeah. be bigger and yeah. build muscle and some people simply want to just lose weight, mm. lose weight, or um, in your case, like maintain or yeah. something like that. And then if it comes down to losing weight, focus on how you eat and how you sleep. Um, if it comes down to like being fit and building like a muscular structure, then focus on like what you do at the gym. Don't do something that makes you fall complacent and you're doing the same thing over and over again where your body doesn't you know, grow. Then you'll switch it up, do uh, do a more intense you know workout because obviously you reach that plateau and it's become easy for you, mm. you know something like that. Just understanding like what do you want, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So when you know what you want, then you look up how you get there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people selling how to get there though. You know, diet pills and all that good stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, fucking uh, workout plans. Workout plans. I looked up stuff and I'm like, how the fuck do I do this? Oh, you need to buy this if you want to know no. how to get that. I'm like, I'm not, I don't have money. I'm broke. Well, yeah. I I'll already s- pay for f- fucking fitness equipment. Yeah. And again, I'll say it again. I was like, if people are falling for these things and their goal, their goal is to lose weight, don't fall into that trap where... I have to run on this treadmill for 20 minutes or I have to do cardio for like two freaking hours mm. to lose weight. Like, just focus on how you're eating. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You'll get far doing that alone. Yeah. What you do in the kitchen, I heard, and your rest. Mm-hmm. Like you just said earlier, you so said 80% of it. 80% is- of, you know, how your body becomes fit and how it looks depends on resting and food. Right. 20% of that is from the gym. Right. You know? When and you say uh, resting, like, what is that? What, sleeping or not? I would say at least eight hours. Maybe six if it can't be helped, but I eight hours usually. Yeah, six rest. to eight hours. Yeah, six to eight hours. And then recovery? Recovery is very important because muscle doesn't happen inside the gym. That's when you tear your stuff. You, you break down the muscles, so you, you, know, you have these small muscle tears. Mm-hmm. And then you go home and eat and fill those up yeah. with um, you know, protein and all that good stuff and sleep. So recovery period definitely emphasize that. So don't, you know, go every day to the gym just to 
you know, beat your body up and give it no time to rest. Hmm. Cause again, That's muscle, me. <laughs> <laughs> muscle, muscle comes. Stop talking about me, man. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Hey, I'm just dropping, you know, <laughs> what I know. <laughs> what? I, you know. This is why William knows nothing, guys. Okay, good night. <laughs> it's go ahead. your tag right there. <laughs> um, yeah, muscle comes from recovery, comes from rest. If you want to look muscular, then emphasize that, you know? Mm. Stop emphasizing how much you beat your body up. If you beat your body up enough that you're sore, um, we call it, what is it, hyper, hypertrophy, hypertrophy, where it's basically what I was saying earlier, where you're going to that point. You know how, like, you lift something and you get that pump? Yeah. And, like, your muscle is sore after that. Yeah. And it's about to cramp up on Ooh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Hypertrophy. You're getting to that point where, you, you know, your muscles are, you know, tearing and tearing. And you have, like, these small pockets of, like, tears that it needs food. It needs nutrients to be plugged into there. Okay. And fill it up. And right. that's muscle growing from there once you yeah. eat and rest. Okay. So, again, it doesn't happen in the gym. The gym just preps you for that. So, definitely, if you want a muscular structure focus on your recovery phase so when i i did those videos um about like my workout regiments and you know me slamming a protein shake on the john <laughs> back when i used to film those um is to show what you can do at the gym so you have that as a guide so you don't need to do crazy amounts like let's do fucking six reps on the bench until we're fucking dead yeah. like yeah but why <laughs> you, you you're doing that and you've already eliminated you know the other half portion of your day at the gym because you're mm. too tired you mm. wore yourself out mm. <laughs> so work out smarter when you know, do four sets of something four sets on the bench move into um four sets on an incline so you get that upper part of your chest and then with the bench itself, it's already a compound. So you're doing more muscle groups. You're doing a chest. You're doing triceps. You're doing shoulders. Multiple groups. Do that in the beginning. Well, after you're warmed up and all that. Do that in the beginning and then move into, you know, triceps, like uh, skull crushers or, um, I can't say skull crushers. That's like not a beginner-friendly workout. <laughs> Why did I start with that? Why try to kill people, man? <laughs> Don't do that. I want to go um, get the kettlebell, skull crush my head. Do that uh, no. Do that uh, rope tricep extension, the one where you like just pull the rope down, Yeah. get that stretch out of your triceps, and then work on some isolations on your shoulders, and then work on that chest fly machine at the gym. So you get some mm. more of your uh your peg decks. So it you want to work out in that kind of sense, you yeah. know. So don't destroy your body on just like one, you know, exercise. Split it up. Do like your heavy compound in the beginning, and then move into the isolations, the smaller muscle groups, and then your day's done. Right. That's about like what an hour and a half. Yeah. But people would talk about like. Yeah, I was at the gym for like three hours. Like, what were you doing for three hours? <laughs> you fucking taking selfies, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and taking I see, videos. But I mean, like, I'm, how many times you see that shit? <laughs> I'm guilty of taking pictures and recording hey, at the gym, but sorry, I'm still mean, no, no. But like, but like, I'm still doing you know my workout. You no, know yeah, I mean? no, yeah, yeah. You're getting your shit in. Right? I'm not, you know, I'm not doing it in a way where it's like I'm taking a huge ass break to yeah. record and Dude, you know, take yeah. pictures. And yeah. I see that a lot. Like, oh man, it's probably worse now. I have, I used to work at Bally's Fitness. Yeah, and it was maybe a couple people on there. It was not even. It was, I didn't see many people on their phone, but I, I haven't been to a gym in years. So mm -hmm. it's like now I'm imagining everybody has a phone line like set up there so they can like do the workout and then put it on Instagram and then like, oh, that was insta thoughts. Insta thugs. <laughs> insta thugs. How about insta thugs? <laughs> Is there an insta thug uh, out there working I don't know. out? Are we trying to create that into a hashtag? <laughs> you need to do that in your next slam insta thug. Insta swole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so cheesy. I loved it. <laughs> well, you know me. A... I love that joke. Yeah. So, oh, that's awesome. Um. Anyway, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, it's just like I see that all the time where. They take a break off of, let's say they do 10 reps on maybe a squat or a bench. It is for both guys and girls. So they take a break, and that break would be like from two, three, even like 10 minutes. Fuck. 
You know, and then they do the next, and then they do the next set. They're not even done. Fucking, they did one. They did one set. Okay, (laughs) isn't that fucking pointless doing that? You're take wait. So I heard a different opinion. I just remember Joe Rogan talking about this. You you remember him talking about? I know what you're talking about. It's um, it's a way where it's like you want to rest for certain situations. Say if you're training for, let's say for um, for strength. If you're training for strength. You need that time to rest. I understand that. You need a longer time to rest if you're mm. doing heavy weight. Mm. So three minutes, three to four minutes about. That's Man. enough. Nothing more than that. And don't do anything less because you need to gather your strength up to do heavy weight again. Yeah. If your goal is to just simply build muscle and get that burn, then less than two minutes, maybe a minute to rest. Mm. And then go back into your next set. Right. So Get off your phone. Get off your phone. If Stop being you're an instant dog. And that's the same thing with Insta like swole. Insta swole. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the same thing if you're trying to um search for that uh caloric like burn. Yeah. You have to go for less rest. What are you doing on your phone for ten minutes? You know what I mean? You're you're ruining it. Your first set is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man, they're trying to look up another YouTube video, man. Yeah. You should have done that at home. You should have <laughs> prepped at home. Yeah, <laughs> maybe they're like trying to like rec- I don't know record so that they can Im- motivate people. I don't mm-hmm. know. I mean, if your goal is to do that, you know, be a motivator and record your workouts. Yeah. Keep working out. Don't stop. Yeah. You know, set it up and then keep going at it. Yeah. If it takes you long to set up, then throw it out the window. Tell one of your friends <laughs> to come with you and record for you. <laughs> or do the whole workout. And then do this is what I did. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Do your workout first. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I usually do. You know when I post my videos or whatever. I don't know if you see any of my. I kick the bag or I'll do shadow I boxing. Them. I work out first. First. Yeah. Get that shit done. <laughs> when I'm tired, whatever. And then I'm like, ah, oh, let me post a video of me just shadow boxing. Let me yeah. just show. Look, look. This is what you can be doing, man. And my yeah. daughter's running around. <laughs> my point is to show fathers out there. Mm-hmm. Look. You can still do it. You can still do it if you got kids. Mm-hmm. Oh, I almost kicked my daughter in the head, but she's <laughs> safe. She's good. You know, she's good. I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm aware of my surroundings. <laughs> I flow like water, like, like Bruce Lee says. Yes. Nah, but I, I, my, again, uh, I like the, I like the workout videos because it's a good motivator for people. Mm-hmm. And that's to, what I love to about do it. things. Yeah. That's what I loved about it, and to get the feedback, it's like you know, thank you. You know, for showing and all that, because I want to spread that energy of yeah. getting up and doing this. You know what I mean? Right. Because I know what it feels like to wake up and feel weak, and you want to be stronger, and making that excuse is like I'm no longer in my prime. And I used I was guilty of that. You know, I was guilty of saying it was like I'm not in my prime anymore. Back when I was younger, I used to do this. I used to be strong like that. Right. And then I reached this point where I've been the strongest I've ever been my entire life. Because I threw away that thought process of saying, you know, that was my prime. I don't know what my prime is. I hmm. just keep keep working at it. Right. You know what I mean? And just keep striving for that. So I just want to spread that energy through those videos and helping like others to see the same thing. Right. It's like you you haven't reached your prime. What the hell is that even? You know, like I don't know where that is. Hmm. You know. Stop thinking like your know, your high school day was your golden days, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You you're not that wasn't your prime you know what i mean you can still keep working hard and still you know improving every day you yeah. know i mean it was like this this world is like huge and filled with like so many things you know so don't limit yourself to something in the past cuz there's so much so many things that you can learn and improve on and that's why like all the things like you see me doing it's um, most of them are just brand new to me, you know. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> like um, the Muay Thai stuff that's brand new to me. Okay. You know? And um, how are you liking it? I love it. It's a uh, ah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it. You know, the, all the teeps and the, ah. you know, the question mark kicks and all that the, good the, stuff. I'm part of the clinches. Only, I'm, I'm the only guy in my gym that does this. But do they do this? Oy, oy. Yeah, like the traditional Muay Thai um, training. <laughs> I don't know why I do it. I feel like a fool when I oy. do that. Yeah, every time I uh, I spar, like I spar at 9 a.m. on mm-hmm. Sundays. Yeah. I fucking love it, man. I can't yeah. do it. I haven't done it in uh, three weeks. I miss uh-huh. it. Anyway, uh, you know, 
I when I first started uh, sparring, it was these guys there that were mm-hmm. so good that well they weren't like oh my god they're the best they're just they were just better than me, mm-hmm. and they would kick my ass mm-hmm. and I was just so frustrated because I'm like I can't fucking hit these guys yeah. they're taller than me whatever so I was so focused on blah blah, blah. long story short here I am today mm-hmm. I'm I'm not there now but three weeks ago whatever. Now we got new guys coming in, and now now we're sparring, yeah. and I have more experience. I'm that guy, <laughs> and then now I'm the one. But yeah. I see myself being a clown now because I'm like, oh, yeah. I get hit in yeah. the face, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> so stupid. Not, anyway, yeah, I mean, but I, it works, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm it just, gets you going. It's but I'm, silly. I'll say this about like sparring though, um, and shout out to um, Royal Striking uh, Gym down in South Philly where I go to. Stop plugging. Stop I'm <laughs> plugging everything. Yeah, all the yeah. plugs everywhere, man. Mm-hmm. No, I'm kidding. Plugging. Guy. I'm going to plug this helmet soon. In this you said, <laughs> what is it? Royal Striking Royal- uh, Muay Thai. Royal Striking Muay Thai down in South Philly. Uh, I'll say this. like One of um, uh, the people there when we were doing like light sparring, he said uh, something very like interesting and very... like. Um, great that i would like keep with myself and maybe um you impactful. Could take this in. impactful it where sparring is the point of sparring is not to win it's mm. to teach and help the person you're sparring with yes yes you know what i mean yes yeah, to learn it's to learn from each other and to teach each other it's, it's to there's no point in trying to win why yeah exactly yeah, why? experiment have fun exactly and i i remember back when i was a kid and doing karate Back when I was like eight and you know, eleven or so, uh, sparring was always like an ego thing. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of uh, people that I sparred with was always trying to like beat the shit out of me. Yeah. Why? <laughs> My ego, man. I was like probably in an orange belt at the time or something. What, it was just what's like, the orange belt? I think it's white, yellow, orange. Okay, was so that I the was uh, kid? <laughs> I was like still a How kid, old were you? Uh, like eleven or so. Okay. So I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Two times my size and like beating the shit out of me. Wow. So I was like, I don't know if I'm supposed to win or what is what am I even trying to do? I feel That's like I'm just up. getting yeah. beat up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was how how long ago was that? That was uh. I don't know how old you are, like, but that's I'm probably... I'm turning 29 this year. Yeah, I was so. going to say, it's probably like 15 years ago. I don't know the math, but something that's like a while ago. But anyway. Yeah, so it, I, I appreciate like um, Royal Strike and um, how their mentality is. Yeah everyone's just there to help improve each other and like when they see someone you know out of gas and like not able to go through the next like exercise we're just pumping them up it's like come on you can do it yeah come on it's like i love that yeah Yeah. i love that you know backing each other up kind of thing oh we got a spar man (laughs) how long you been training uh since i would say october or november around then that's when i started oh okay Cause yeah. I, I do I I'm that motivational guy like cause I I see a lot of you know cause I'm I'm two years in mm-hmm. I'm comfortable now I mean, and I want to get beat up now I <laughs> want to get beat up before in the beginning I was like what the fuck I don't want to get beat up I don't want to get hit and now I want to get hit yeah. and I want to cause I want to evade I want to do everything right, I right. want to learn but uh you know the guys that I'm working with you know they're they're still. I, they, they, I'm not saying that they they don't suck. No, they're just start, they're still they were I they they were I I can't say it. Damn it! Speak English, they, woman. <laughs> <laughs> they were 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 where, 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 where was I was at? I can't speak English either. So <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's fucking minorities or, or what are we? We're, we're per- I mean we're fucking kind of minorities, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'm, got it's funny where it's like I've learned. We're not, we're not Caucasian. <laughs> I learned multiple languages where I'm at the point where like I don't even know if English can be like, my go-to language now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm slowing my words because I finished my drink too fast. <laughs> but yeah, you're they're not at the place where you're at. Exactly. Right? That's what yeah. I'm, I was trying to say. That they're not on my skill level. Like, yeah. Whatever. I didn't want to say that because it sounds cocky, and I was like, I oh, say something else. Well, but, it depends on how you say it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, what? What about cocks? What? No, no. Like depends on like. <laughs> not even. It's I'm, only I'm cocky joking. if you say it in a certain way. It's like they're not on my skill level. They're not on my level. <laughs> I'm better than them. Yeah. Meanwhile, my my boy Matt, shout out to Matt. He's way like he's better than me. He kicks my ass all the time. I'm scared right. of him still. 
When I first started, it was him, Matt. It was uh, this other guy named Ben. He was fucking really good. And there's a couple other guys that were that you know they started before me, and they were just better than me, mm-hmm. and they're taller than me, so they got a height advantage. I'm short. I don't know how to fucking cut corners. I got to do more work to get to hit them in the face. But anyway, mm-hmm. my main point though mm-hmm. is that I'm at where I'm at now, and I feel good. Mm-hmm. That I'm, I'm like happy as shit, but I yeah. still got to be humble because there's people better than me, and it's not a competition. It's all about fun. <laughs> Stay humble, son. Stay humble. Exactly. <laughs> um, my ego will try to get in the way, but I'll say, shut the fuck up. We are here to have fun. We mm. are here to help these guys. We're yeah. here to help each other. Like mm. none of, they're helping me. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not just helping them. So I'm just. I was. I got hyped because I was like, oh, we got to spar, man. Because I, I would. Mm. If you were like scared to hit me and I'm punching you and you're like, not that you'd no. be scared to hit me. I'm saying some some guys are timid a little bit right. to throw a punch. I'm like. Come on, hit me, hit yeah. me, come on. Boom. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. good. Come on, do it again. Yeah. Boom. You just I'll going, do it again. Yeah, you just And then I'll for, throw a jab right after that. <laughs> yeah. You're just going for light tags. That's it. Yeah, you're not yeah. going for a knockout. Trying to kill blow. Each other. Like, yeah. why are you throwing hate me? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I got that's a little tiny <sighs> quick story. Oh, man. This uh I I think he was Ukrainian. I forget what he was. Uh I don't want to say what he was. <laughs> anyway, he uh big guy. Must weigh 230 pounds, 220, something like that. Tall guy. He's probably like six foot four. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shout out to Ukrainian people. <laughs> I don't know if he's Ukrainian, but he looked like it. He could be something else. Uh, uh, I forget the other ones. But anyway, he was training with us, uh, uh, sparring. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker was trying to light me up. I have a video. I have video footage on this guy. I can show you it. Oh, he, man. He, he, he was trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> So he threw hooks. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Oh. And then he landed one because I hit the wall. And I said, like, and I got I got smacked right against the wall. I was like, this motherfucker is trying to kill me. Maybe that's how they were raised, man. You, yeah. I mean, not saying Khabib was around that area, but it's in that region. Maybe that's yeah, how they, God. they fought. <laughs> yeah, you know, I respect him, there, but they, fuck. They he came out of nowhere. With, they sparred with bears, man. Come he on. was trying to knock me out. I was like, fuck, you're too heavy, man. If you were like, if it was like me and you, I wouldn't mind. Like, oh, okay, let's go. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not going to knock me out. No. You, If you weigh 230 pounds, you're going to knock me the fuck out, man. I'm not trying to get knocked out. If you have a clear weight and size advantage, you know, show yeah. the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why are you going this ham on me? <laughs> exactly. So I, I had to say something because it, it was getting out of hand. He did. Right. He, he was getting out of hand with other people, too. He, it was not only just me. Some uh, people don't sense that, you know? Some people don't sense that they're going overboard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a balance, man, like with the, the light sparring. And I love light sparring. It's fun. I love... I haven't... I don't... Maybe I did a little hard sparring. He was one... He was definitely a hard sparring because yeah. uh, I actually competed against him. I was like, all right, you want to fucking hit me? So I actually went against him. I was fucking up his leg because I'm t- I'm shorter than him. Yeah. So every time he kept swinging, I ducked and threw a leg kick right on him, like hard as shit. I'm trying to kill this motherfucker because he's like <laughs> pissing me off. <laughs> but uh, uh, my my adre- you know, the adrenaline yeah. rush it was like kicking in and shit. And every time he threw a punch, you know, I'm faster than him, way faster than him. You you weigh 230 pounds, great. If you land one, I'm getting knocked the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. But I'm way quicker than him. So I was able to, you know, Speedy Gonzalez. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hey, hold on, you know. Why you got to be Speedy Gonzalez, though? I'm Mexican, <laughs> son. No. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that, yeah, I had to say something, though, because it wasn't just me. It was some other people that uh, he was hitting, hitting yeah. too hard. Even the female, he was hitting too hard, man. And you get some of those people, man. Yeah, I mean, he didn't. Me- I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to. He just had that mentality, you know. You just get carried away and just end up, you know, doing that. So, right. I don't know. It's, uh, maybe it's like a um, certain type of ego, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's you know? ego. It's ego. It's again, probably he was just mad that day because he yeah. didn't, he didn't came out. No, he never did that before. Mm-hmm. So when he did that, I was like, "What the fuck's wrong with this guy? He's like mad and." When I, when I gave him a nice leg kick, he's like, and they swing it. I was like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> he's like angry. Maybe it's just anger problems. He man. was trying to kill me. <laughs> it could be just anger problems. Yeah, maybe. Man. I don't know. It's like, that's know. why he's taking that class, right? So he can wail on people. Yeah, it's right. Like, Finally, I could beat yeah. the shit out they, of some people. Yeah, they had to stop that shit, though, because he was getting, again, he was getting out of hand. Yeah. But how, how you, you were talking about your gym. You said your people were like, they're chill, you know. Mad chill. You know, coaches like Matt Chill too. It was like very down to earth. So I I really like the environment there. Right. Yeah. So um, 
yeah, uh, if you want to give it a try, just pay them a visit, you know, say what's where, up. Where is this at? Like 10th and McKean, around that area, and uh, right now in South Philly, so it's like low past Snyder. Is it, what What do you have, like a trial for a day, or? Like how, what? I think you can do, oh yeah, 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 when I started, he did a trial for two weeks. Mm, okay. You know, come in for two weeks, and then see if you like it. Is Royal Royal Striking Royal Striking, and you said they also do jujitsu as well, right? They also do jujitsu. Anything yes. else? Um, they do fighter training as well, which um I was um explaining to you earlier before uh fighter training where they prep them and get them ready for fights, which they usually have like in Jersey, right? Um, but yeah, they they compete as well, so that can be something that you might venture off into. I probably wouldn't. Maybe I don't know. I do yeah, think, I was gonna ask you. I you do th- think about it if yeah. I want to. You're still young enough, man. I'm doing it. Yeah. Well, as soon as this fucking show that gets better, I'm gonna. I want to do it. I've been. I wanted to fight in March. I wanted to fight last year in in August, mm-hmm. but family things happened because uh, on the yeah. same day, my wife wanted to do this horror con thing, and I was like, oh shit, okay, we're doing that then because obviously I don't want to mm-hmm. choose a fighting thing that you know I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I feel uh, like the only way I can get there is if I can get to a point where, let's say, I don't have to worry about work too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't want to get injured. If I get injured, I'm I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If I get my arm broken because, you know, I don't want to fucking tap out, you know. <laughs> You're talking <laughs> about I'm jiu-jitsu. Just, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about the whole thing. Like oh, an actual, like. MMA? Yeah. Oh, MMA. I yeah. if, I, if, I'm gonna com- if I'm going to compete. It has Are you to talking be... about MMA? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought you were just talking about Muay Thai. Like, you can still get your arm broken with Muay Thai, too. I mean, they can kick you in your yeah. goddamn arm. But... Yeah, that can happen. Yeah, you said arm, bro. I was like, wait, wait, where are we going? <laughs> no, we're, we're talking about the whole thing. Oh, so. shit, you want to do I don't want to do MMA. If, I'm good. If I were to. I love MMA, but. Yeah. You know, if I were to go and compete, I would go for the whole thing. I would go for MMA straight up. That's cool. But, of course, that depends on training and how long I'm training for and all of that. Yeah. And how long am I willing to give up my time to go out and do this. Yeah, you know that's I mean? a serious thing, man. It is a serious thing. Because you got these other guys out there that are like, that's their life. That is, so yeah. You don't want to go in there. You're just like, like this is my hobby. Half-ass, and right. this is hobby. I want to try this thing out. Yeah. Meanwhile, this other guy's like, I'm ready for this. Like, I've been training since I'm, I was three, motherfucker. I'm going to UFC. And then they're on <laughs> own. And like, fuck that. Yeah, it's like they have no record yet, but they are a fucking killer. Yeah. And I'm going up against this guy, right? Yeah, you're thinking, I got this slam, my protein shake. <laughs> yeah, that's how I start each one. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, but um, I don't know. Maybe that's just a a thought of mine that I might want to try out. Have you sparred in MMA? Um, light sparring, like light contact. MMA. Sparring. No, not MMA. Um, well, I mean, we do rolls, you know, here and there, but not yeah. like, not like all of them together, you know. Yeah, because I mean? I've rolled uh for the first time MMA. I mean, I'm sorry, not rolled. I uh, sparred MMA. Yeah. Uh, with my uh, homegirl Becca Evans. She's an MMA fighter. Shout out to her. Shout out to Becca. They, they, uh, she's out in Delaware. What's it called? Delaware Dragon, MMA, something like that. Huh. I'm horrible at plugging. Delaware Dragons. <laughs> No, That's I don't, a dope name though. Got if it, it, if damn it was it. that Delaware Dragon. Let me look it up. But something like that, Delaware Dragon MMA. <laughs> That's, uh, a, could, That's a dope name for Jeff. I, I could be fucking wrong. I'm, I'm gonna feel silly if oh. if it is. Delaware. Oh, I got it right. Well, shout out to Delaware Dragons. Yeah, Delaware Dragon Martial Arts. <laughs> it's a it's a, a what do you call it? An affiliate of uh, Jackson's. I don't know if you know his. I forget his name. But yeah, that's her. Yeah, Legit. She, she's uh she's a uh, fe- she's what the fuck she's like seven, she I, I fear her record, she's legit though. I saw her fights and I was like yeah she's fucking going all the way up man, but same thing she works. That's it. Yeah. And whenever she can make time, she fucking trains. So it's the same shit. Yeah, make it into a lifestyle. Yeah, that's what she's trying to do, and she teaches and she's she's chill man. She comes over and spars with us too mm-hmm. sometimes, but um yeah she kicked my ass. Cause you know, I you try to balance the female thing. You know, you don't want to go too hard because yeah. you don't want to seem like a dickhead. So I was just like, you know, I'm just filling it out. She, and not to say that, she, uh, not to say that she wasn't kicking my ass though, because mm-hmm. she's more experienced than me in like in jujitsu and all that. Right. Uh, and, and MMA in general. Uh, but 
it was just like fuck i was just I, you know you're trying to balance not being too aggressive because mm-hmm. i could have like easily just like picked up and slammed but you don't yeah. want to do that you know what i mean you're just having fun first of all mm-hmm. yeah so anyway besides the point she fucking arm barred me at the <laughs> <laughs> my ego was like n- n- i wasn't even mad that you know she arm barred me i was just like this is becca what the fuck she arm barred right. me fuck for it. for a certain reason you weren't mad you know it's <laughs> like my ego would have gotten away I'm like she's a female how dare she exactly how dare she fucking no we're doing it again let's spar again nah nah mm-hmm. she was cool though we were, it was a fun it was, that was like the best time I ever had because I never thought I would do any kind of MMA yeah and MMA is my favorite now it's my favorite I see what it's fucking amazing you're doing everything Muay yeah. Thai fucking uh, wrestling Jiu Jitsu Taekwondo, whatever. You're mixing everything together to, you know, to make the shit work out. And I, you know what? I just, I love both. Like, I love Muay Thai. I love, you know, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It just, and honestly, I just love learning new things. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just love, you know, gaining new knowledge about new things. So, all of that's new to me still. And to go there and, like, learn new techniques is always, like, a blessing. It's like, holy crap, I didn't think, you know, I'd be here doing this. You know, right. I mean? so I mean, honestly, if you want to do like light contact sparring, you gotta catch me on those days where I'm not working out heavy because <laughs> I'll be mad sore. Yeah. So, but I mean, it's just been a lot of fun doing all of that. Yeah, it's you good for you, mean? man. Like, do you get anything out of it besides like just having fun? Like, does it? Can you take that with you in real life? Like, you're sparring or training for Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu. Are you talking about like um how it? helps me yeah does it do anything day to day basis um i mean it's just like a much and en- like much more energy into me i have like more energetic every day doing this mm. to get up early prepare myself to go out into the gym or do a muay thai just trying to do all of that early and getting a good start to the day Man. so doing that every week uh definitely helped like with just everything that I've been doing. That's why I've been like so energetic for every task that I'm doing, whether it's acting, right. even at work, even like if I'm going out to cater and do catering and it's just like, um, you know, a lot of people are just like tired. It's like, Oh, why the fuck am I here doing this? And I get it's late, late nights. You know, we work from like 5 PM to say midnight most of the time. Mm-hmm. I'm just an energetic motherfucker when I go to work. So, <laughs> so, you know, I'm always just, like, ready for any task that's thrown at me. So, I guess that's what I can say it helped me with. Okay. Yeah, get... It helped me just be ready for, or, like, anything. Yeah, like, uh, here's an extreme example. I use this often. So, I forget what it was that happened the last time. Someone... I think... I don't know if someone spit on me, like, by accident. You know, you, you're talking... Spit like, out in the public? No, when someone talking, a little little f- thing flicks on you, you're like, oh. Oh, well, as, as actors, we what? get that all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We spit on each other all the time, and I catch myself with that. <laughs> shit. It's you're like, disgusting. Fuck, ah, fuck you. Like, anyway. I can't believe I spat on the front row. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, front row. <laughs> you're, you're in the splash zone. I don't know where you're sitting. You're in the splash zone. Yeah, yeah I'll splatter. <laughs> you love me. Anyway. No, uh... I forget what the fuck it was. Something happened where somebody said, you don't like, that doesn't bother me. I'm like, dude, I get fucking sweaty balls in my face. Someone's asshole is in my face when I'm rolling jujitsu. Nothing is bothering me. (laughs) Nothing. I get these sweaty ass fucking dudes. They're fucking nasty ass rash guards. This is, you know, the gym shirts, you know what I'm talking yeah, about, right? The yeah, rest yeah. Card, I'm talking to other people that don't roll, probably. But it's these nasty-ass, sweaty, uh, stinks, and yeah. it's on you. You're all like, what the fuck? Uh, you got someone else to sweat on you? Yeah. And then you're like, oh, that was fucking fun. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> you're not thinking about that shit. But, you know, you really think about it. You're like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? So anyway, what? me dealing with anybody else is like, what? It's like, yeah, it's nothing. You don't phase me, bitch. I get tapped out. Someone tried to kill me. Yeah, yeah. And they did, kind of, but I, I tapped out and they let me go. Or I killed someone. I killed this new white belt. 
Because he, he, you know, he wanted to see what jujitsu was all about. He wanted to smoke. I let him play with the smoke, <laughs> and then he choked. <laughs> uh, how that worked? Well, yeah, I mean, that was like, a bad joke. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, like it's um, not like that's it. Gave it gave me a a positive outlook on everything. You know, what I mean, it's um, n- like again, like you said, like nothing phases you, like nothing creates a negative mood to you where it would do normally for other people because i'm just like dude time is too precious to waste on dwelling on something so minor you know what i mean yeah. someone bumps into me on the street i don't care i keep walking what am i gonna do turn around and be like yo what the fuck yeah it's a waste of my time yeah th- see and now there's a balance because they're i wouldn't well, be if they turn around and be like yo what the fuck and i'd yeah. be like suck Bro, what's up? <laughs> Man, I don't want to fight, dog. Like, but I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready, but I don't want to fight. Like, keep your distance. I'll just keep walking and be like, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> and I'll keep walking. He wants to follow me. It's like, all right, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. So, I mean, like, it's just things like that. It's like, if I can walk away from situations, I will. Of course. You know? All the time. Every that, single time. That's the thing, too. It get, get, people confuse the uh, the self-defense aspect of martial arts. You think that, okay, you learn it. I'm going to defend myself yeah. now. No. You're, the point of learning is to learn, of course, just in yeah. case, God forbid, yeah. that you can protect yourself. But the point is, is you, for awareness, mm-hmm. you know, you're know, you aware of things. Okay, now you know to keep yourself out of this mm-hmm. shit. And if shit goes down, you run, mm-hmm. get away, or keep your distance. You know what I mean? Yeah. The I basic mean, like, shit. if you're taking self-defense for a purpose of self-defense, the point of self-defense is to have you ready to fight rather than going into one. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you don't want to take a self-defense course and then go into, like, yeah, now I'm ready to, like, go out there. Like, who's trying to look for Some you know, people look get for that way, I think. And they do. And yeah. it's, like, ready to show off. It's Me. Like, you know? <laughs> but everything's like me everything's me i do everything in my current situation of taking muay thai even if i'm not taking it to fight competitively mm. i'm still having it as something in my arsenal to have ready yeah. just in case you're not a clinch yeah yeah, yeah. clinch yeah well, yeah well, you better yeah. not a clinch yeah you have to I'm in muay thai no <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, i asked because i actually had to use a clinch i had to use it one time because uh Long story short, um, like I say, any names, a some, fight some was breaking out. Yeah, yeah well, well, I want to say motherfucker. I know these, I know these people basically. Let's okay. just say that. All right. Uh, it was like a, you know, whatever, family. Uh, uh, something okay. jumped off, and uh-huh. I had to use a Muay Thai clinch. Yeah. To hold him down. Yeah. Uh, and I was just like, look, I love you, man. Chill. And he was drunk. Mm-hmm. And I was just like trying to hold him down. He couldn't get out of the clinch because yeah, it's hard as shit to get out of it. Yeah. yeah. Right you now. lock him in, that's it. Yep. Unless they know how to get out of it because there's ways, techniques to get out of it. But anyway, he didn't know how to get out of it. So he just stood there and, then, you know, he gave up. And then I was like, look, man, I love you. Chill. Let's let's, let's relax. Yeah. Meanwhile, I got a fucking knife behind me. And people are like going crazy yeah. and freaking the fuck out because Latinos are crazy. Oh, crazy fucks. <laughs> so. Damn. Muay Thai can't protect against that, <laughs> but <Boom>. puta madre. <laughs> Damn, that was good. Hey, hey, nice puta madre. Man. Don't don't sound better than me and fucking. Hey, I'll speak many languages on your don't, podcast. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, I'll speak some Korean. Don't. You know, go to bottom go. <laughs> it means eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I, "Go to gabrabo. Go to bottom go. You know, go or to yo, I even learned some German. Yeah, du bist ein Scheißen. Du bist ein Scheißen. Means uh, you are shit. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say, "Do me a favor and give me some cheese." No. <laughs> Do me a Scheißen. Do me a Scheißen. <laughs> Nein. <laughs> Nein. <laughs> That's the only one I know. Nein. But, and then you got Russian, where it's uh, saying hello is like "Privet, Privet," and then saying goodbye is "Dos vidanya." Privet, Privet, Privet. Dos vidanya. I don't know why I know this. <laughs> what is wrong with you, man? You know language. I don't know. I think I find... You're that. an actor. That's what he is. You're an actor. I think that's why. You know everything. Oh, yeah. this is learning languages is fun. Yeah, um, it is. But Just I'm like glad... accents and all I'm that. I'm glad you had the clinch ready. 
and you know yeah i didn't know i had it ready i was like six months in four four to six months in the muay thai i was like oh oh i know it oh i caught him derry i got him and i was like oh i gotta hold him down now and then i was just like trying to like, oh, express it, my love to him like i love yeah. you man but then in your back of your head it's like it fucking worked it works <laughs> and i don't know how i got here but i'm here <laughs> and uh Another event happened, something else mm. out here actually. Mm. But it was uh, oh, yeah. me just managing my distance. It wasn't anything crazy. I, I thought I was gonna have to drop a bitch. That's all I gotta say. I have. I really thought your neighborhood. Yes. I thought I was. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was gonna. Really, I seriously thought I was gonna have to drop a fucking two hundred eighty pound bitch because she was like really aggressive. Oh man. And I said, please, please, please. I don't want any problems. I was like, I was desperate because she was like coming towards me. And I was ready to just fucking drop her because she was like yeah. fucking like threatening me. Right, right. I, was, I don't want to. I don't know what to I do. Like, I don't want to do it, but because I'm I not will. just gonna be like this. Oh, don't hit me. <laughs> My instinct is to just grab her, <gasps> Ugh, flip her, hip yeah. toss her. No, I'm kidding. I went. Teep the <laughs> shit out of her. <laughs> right. Teep the Teep shit. Teep her fucking belly. <laughs> Teep her belly. <laughs> nah. Anyway, no good. Yeah, I'm but, being so silly right now. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about just like self defense of just having it. In your arsenal. Yeah. You know, just having it. You know, you don't have to go crazy. You're not out there <coughs> looking for a fight intentionally. You're just ready. Just in case. Mm. It doesn't give you an excuse to be like, oh, this person bumped into me. I need to fuck him up. You know, no, that's it, ridiculous. Yeah. It is ridiculous. But people do that a lot. Yeah. Because they, they get now for know that. how. Yeah, they can get killed for that. Like, yeah, you know Moist High, but somebody can ha- be packing or have a knife or something. Yeah. You, know, you don't know. Yeah. You never know. So that's why if I can walk away from a situation, I will. You know, it doesn't need to be an altercation if it doesn't have to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah, a lot of times just walk away from it. Yep. You know, why, why be so prideful? Because someone's like, you know, talking shit about you, like, yo, bitch, like, the fuck, like, yeah. yo, you ain't shit. Mm. I'm like, all right, my bad, keep walking. That is a goal of mine to walk away from something like that. Yeah, because so, you I, never I, know if, again, like, if they have a weapon, yeah, or they have people with them. Exactly. Like, let's say I'm with someone and then someone hits on my wife, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, demons are coming out I know and I know what I know and I can uh, kill you right now but I'm not gonna do that cause I need to walk away before I kill you but at the same time you want respect cause yeah. like oh, who the fuck are you, what are you doing dude yeah 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 so it's like a balance you, you don't know what to do cause if you do make that choice you may get shot now you may get stabbed you know his boys might jump you yeah. cause you you know what I mean you don't know it's I remember, crazy I remember when I was dating this one girl um, and I, we were walking down South Street and uh, some you know some hooligans was like, you know, hitting on her. It's like, yo, you got a nice ass. And I was like, but then this is what I did. And I did it. And it's really funny. I don't know if you <laughs> want to do it too. But, um, and I'm fine doing it this way where I was like, man, that girl's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it. I would, I, I always say, I want to do this. Yeah. If someone hits my wife, I'd be like, oh, baby. You talking to me? Like uh, just you get, play just, that yeah, role. I want to play that. Like, just, <laughs> come on, you want to see my ass too? Look at me. Come on, touch it. You want to come touch it? I want to play that role for them to make them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's I I always want to do. That. I was like, I want them indeed make indeed, them uncomfortable. Make it happen. Yeah. But and I then, mean, like that's how I would handle it a hundred percent of the time. Where it's like, damn, you got a nice ass. Yeah. People seem to agree. You do got a nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> because let's say like this, like um, let's say. You know, as an actor, you become famous and you start dating other famous people. Yeah. Obviously, people would hit on them. Right. You know, what am I going to do about that, right? What am yeah. I going to do? You motherfucker, you type about my woman like you bitch. <laughs> Did you hear about the Mike Tyson thing, speaking of? No, no. Did you hear about that? No. All right, go ahead. Continue what you're saying. I'll look that up for you. But it's just like, yeah, what am I going to do? Be like a keyboard warrior typing down these trolls that are hitting on my, you know, my woman. And just like. Bro, like, that's a waste of time. Right. I feel like it's always a waste of time to try to look for a fight after someone's hitting on your wife. Right. I would I would say just look at it, like, look at it as if, like, uh, it's a pat on the back. Like, she's a very attractive person, and you've done well for yourself. Right. You know? Like, man, <laughs> she is hot. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, how, that's how I always handle it 100% of the time. I just wanted to show you real fast. Says he will not. 
Uh, he says he will knock the black off of Michael Blackson. <laughs> so there's a story that I don't know if this is real or not. It's fucking. It's crazy. It's like an onion story. Uh, this comedian apparently responded to a fake uh, story that uh, Mike Tyson is willing to pay someone ten million dollars to mm-hmm. marry his daughter. Someone made that up somehow, mm-hmm. and the comedian went along with that. Michael Blackson joked. I know him, yeah. Yeah, I don't know him, but he said uh, he joked about it and said whatever he joked. He said, oh, "Mike Tyson, I'm willing to be your your son-in-law and you being my father-in-law." Some shit. He was like fucking like he said he went in. No. And Mike Tyson, I have that. I put the, I posted this yesterday on our on our uh, our dead pigeon comedy Instagram. Yeah. I, I want you to read this so you can just. Indulge. It's hilarious. His response to the guy. I don't, again, I don't know if this is real. Uh, it's like everything is, you don't know what's real anymore. Everything's, like, every, everything's at fucking this point. fake. But look, this is his response. You can read the top part too. That's Michael Blackson, supposedly. I, I saw this. You uh, saw that already? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I read a bit. I was like, wait, what is this? Because I didn't know much about what was happening. Yeah. Like, I didn't know the, the his, behind it. Mike Tyson's response, if that's really Your Mike Tyson. Your gecko lizard looking ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I read it. I was just like, wait, who's he talking about? Yeah. Because I thought you said this. Oh. <laughs> but then I read up top, it's like, oh, Mike Tyson and Tyson Fury. Yeah. Because then I was like, wait, who you calling gecko looking ass bitch? <laughs> It's crazy, but anyway, you because you were just talking about uh, fuck, I lost my train of thought. How about like um, someone hitting on your woman. You know? Oh, right, and someone hitting on Mike Tyson's not, daughter. And I'm not saying this for PC people. It's like I'm not saying your woman as you know they're your object. Like no, I'm not saying that. Shut up, David. Uh, you are objectifying. I'm everyone. not trying to objectify women. I'm saying your lady, your your wife. Oh, look at you, <laughs> romantic. <laughs> all right, let's, let's stop. Fuck that. that! I objectify my wife all the fucking time. <laughs> if you want to see how we do it, go watch Dead Pigeon podcast. No, I'm kidding. I was a PC boy, so now I'm the opposite side, and I'm like, I'm just now I'm trying to balance it. Like, I can't with PC, man. But I, we'll we'll get into that. We we don't have but, to talk about that. Yeah, that's <laughs> fine. We don't have to come at PC people. <laughs> I mean, like I, I I will. I don't give a damn. No, see, look, Whoa. when I first got into PC, the PC culture, whatever, politi- politi- politically correct people. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was about it because it's like, oh, that makes sense. You respect yeah. people, you know. Yeah. You respect people's uh, you know, boundaries. You know, if mm-hmm. someone is gay, you know, mm-hmm. don't fucking make fun of them. Like, exactly. okay, if someone is is transgender, you know, whatever yeah. you identify well, yeah. them as, what they identify as. Okay, exactly. cool. But and then uh, whatever. Uh, mm-hmm. all these other things that's PC right but then it gets too extreme to a point where it's like you say one thing without that intention yeah and they make it that intention yeah like you, you take things out of context exactly like exactly. I'm gonna say it I used to say the word nigga yeah that was my I grew up saying that word right. yo you my nigga like you yeah. I'm your nigga yeah we yeah. nigga yeah and yeah. we you know we grew up saying that I don't know if you said that but I do Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would say that, yes. I, but I mean, like, that's how we grew up right. saying that. Like, and it was a thing, right? And now all of a sudden, you can't say that because you're not black. You're not yeah. within the black culture. Now there's a whole there's a yeah. whole rule set behind this word. And I get it. Yeah. It's like, all right, that's cool. But, okay, so, and here's where I, this is where I draw the line mm-hmm. because I always said this. Don't call me poppy. Nah, yeah, don't, don't, I, know I, don't, I, I know wouldn't that. call you a chino. Yeah. Yo, chino, yeah. you know, don't call me a fucking poppy. Exactly. Don't call you a chino. Exactly. If you don't want me saying nigga, that doesn't make yeah. any goddamn sense exactly. to me. You were yeah. being hypocritical, mm-hmm. but we're not allowed to say that because then we're we're being offensive. You know what I mean? That's where it's yeah. like drawing a line. But I mean, like we didn't grow up calling each other. Yo, what's up, chino? You know, with, no, you no. know, in a like, for what's up, cracker. Yeah, like no, no one grew up no, no, no. saying that in a yeah. way where it meant, in other words, like "Yo, what's up, bro?" Yeah, like that. Like we never yeah. grew up saying "What's up, cracker?" Like saying yeah. as if like "What's up, bro?" Like we never grew up saying stuff like that. Yeah, I always thought so, th- th- when you say when you say "Yo, you my nigga" and all that, that I thought always thought that was just the hood thing. Yeah, you were raised in the hood. Whoever is your hood people, mm-hmm. you're all you're all brothers. You right, know what I mean? Right. Doesn't matter what race, what culture, mm-hmm. you're a brother. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> today you can't say it and it's like okay i don't know yeah. i don't even say it i said it now because i'm using context it's context bitches don't you dare don't you <laughs> dare try to change change this shit like um i would say 
I would only say it around people I know that are comfortable with it. Like even like black friends too. Like I will make sure like don't be racist. You got don't pretend you have black friends. Hey, I'm, I'm joking. My room, I'm joking. One of my roommates is black. <laughs> oh, okay. And he did say he did say, "Come on, I know you say it, man. <laughs> just say it, man. Let's just say nigga, man." It was oh like, my god. And I was just like, I just want to make sure that you're cool with it. Right. <laughs> and, and did, he, did he say, like, stop being a bitch? Or? No, he's just saying, like, come on, stop running, man. Uh, <laughs> the, I, I was going to say another word, but I, I, I'm i pretty respectful yeah. the, mo- for the most part. But it's like, that's where it's like, I understand the sense of yeah. disrespect. If someone's intentionally saying it to piss you off, I understand that. Right, right. You know, because racism exists. Yes. Yeah, racism exists. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Of but, course. Yeah. I get it. But, but, like, go ahead. I'll only say it if I know the people around me are comfortable with it. If they're not, then I won't say it. Right. You know? That's, yeah, that's that makes just sense. Sign of respect. That's all. Exactly. If y- you're not going to say, yo, what's up, my niggas? Yeah. Like, at a fucking barbecue no. and you're over at your friend's house and they're all black. Like, you're not going to. like, do that. you're getting a little too comfortable with people you don't know. Yeah. <gasps> But if it's just you and your homeboys and yeah. you're all cool, it doesn't matter if they're black, Asian, mm-hmm. Hispanic, and y'all, uh, you yeah. know what I mean? You grew up like, together. It depends. With, Whatever. It's like with jokes, that too. flow. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, bitches? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what's up, motherfuckers? Yeah. In some yeah. areas, Whatever. that's not acceptable. It's right. like, all right, I get it. Right. Okay. It's oh. weird. I always talk about this, but it's weird how words. So, I, this is getting deeper. Uh, into the thing that I'm going I, uh, deeper into I'm the rabbit hole right rabbit now. Hole. <laughs> so this I I meditate right, and I always think a lot. I, I think often about what we do, who we mm-hmm. are, how we think, blah blah, what we do. So I came into this point where I'm like, yo, everything we talk, everything we speak, these words, it's patterns, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, you okay? This gets crazy, but the everything around us is as a pattern or a number, mm-hmm. right? You think about that. So I don't want to get too crazy, but basically what I'm saying to you is a pattern of, of under, you understand this pattern of words. Mm-hmm. Like it's weird how yeah. our conscious can pick these up. Like, like that's a sentence. Yeah. That, yeah. And we are that's in a, a phrase. A, right. Yeah. And then I'm listening to you while I'm talking and I'm thinking and you're listening, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All these are patterns. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Is English is like, is not like, the only language that exists. It's a pattern. It's mm-hmm. something I am saying. I am saying this. Yeah. You understand that, mm-hmm. right? So it's like now to sudden today we have these words. You know, I'm not gonna say the N word, mm-hmm. but nigga, mm-hmm. and the N word. If you say the N word, oh my fucking god, you are going to fucking get your ass kicked. Mm-hmm. If you say nigga. Yeah, you're not allowed to say that, but let's, I'm going to let you slide. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So, and then all these other words, you know, the F word, <laughs> faggot, mm-hmm. uh, retard, yeah, uh, cunt, you name it. All these right. crazy words that people, they look at these words and they have a weird mm-hmm. uh, offensive or evil intent right. behind it. It's like, you're not allowed to use that word. Right. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get shit because... <laughs> I said all those words. Yeah. I said faggot. I said cunt. I said nigga. I didn't say the N word because I know that one was a little extreme. I did say that before mm-hmm. on air on, on my podcast, but it was w- context. I was trying right. to, I was showing with David Goggins, long story short, but I'm mm-hmm. not going to go into that. But yeah. my point is, it's weird how we're so obsessed with words. Right. And all they are is this pattern so we can communicate. Exactly. So, I uh, mean, like, yeah. I was gonna. I was trying to show you that I'm communicating with my hands too. I right. Was gonna, yeah. But go even ahead. sign language. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. But um, in a way where it's just like, if if someone were to like you know call me a chink, I wouldn't care. Like it. It all depends on how much they're you know amping it up. Like if they're following me and constantly saying that, it's like all right. That's annoying. That's annoying, and it's become annoying, and you're annoying the shit out of me. Don't even have to call you a chink. They can say beaner. Beaner. Yeah. Beaner. Like, but it all what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and it all depends on, like, are you going to be offended by it, or are you just going to move on with your day? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's not going to hurt me. You know, it's not going to, you know, fuck up my day. 
Unless they say it and throw, you know, a cup of water or soda in my face. And then I'm like, all right, well, you just fucked up my day. Now I need to do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, do something about it. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, if if a word is that much offense, you know, to you where you know, I just don't understand how it's, like, that detrimental to you. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll, I'll exp- oh, uh, where it's like your life just stops right there. It's like, the fuck? Fuck you just yeah. say to me like D- no worse is there any word at all that gets yeah. to you any word no i can't there's so. it's not words it's more like you say a statement you know what i mean then it can get to me hmm. then it can be offensive like what um something personal you know if you come at my family if you come at like a certain that makes sense my, then yeah, yeah. Well, yeah if it's with race i don't really care too much about yeah something with race is where like i don't care about like stereotypes you know what i mean yeah where oh it's like you must be good at math it's like i mean I, i'm a little bit yeah I people actually said that to you yeah <laughs> you I must mean, be like, good at kung fu yeah and i'm like and then they'll do that like, oh my god and i was just like yeah i mean you know i know a little bit <laughs> your question is that from fucking white people black people hispanics or is that all, all the people above all the above motherfuckers all yeah, of them all of the above human beings and all like, of them i'm not even gonna feel salty about it because like why should i right yeah because i do know it <laughs> <That's true. laughs> embrace it and you know what sometimes in certain situations they don't mean to be offensive hmm. you know and that's what got me thinking it's like huh you know what they know because it's all really like was it subjective it's really you know, depends on how you look at it. Right. Because I can look at it in a way where it's like, yo, that's offensive as shit. To them, there's like, I, I, I didn't mean to. I just, you know, I, I thought that was the gesture. The show was like, well, it's like that's Kung Fu, right? Mm. And they really don't mean any offense to it. Right. You know what I mean? So then that makes me think, I was like, why should I be offended by it? You it's know a, what I mean? It's just a pattern, man. Just a pattern of words. Uh, They didn't hurt you. They didn't try to kill you. And they're not trying to. They don't have that intent to harm me in any way. They just thought it was like, you know, something fun to do. Right. Just don't get carried away with it. That's all. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm talking about. If they understand, like, if I tell them, like, that's offensive. And if they understand, we're cool. Right. If I tell them that's offensive, it's like, you know, I don't give a fuck. You know, I'll keep saying it. Then that's when it's not. Now cool. you're being an asshole. Now you, yeah, now I know, now what, I know. What's your point intent. of that? Yeah, what's the point? Are you doing that? I don't know. I'm going to do it because you're offended by it. Yeah. Now I know your intent. Yeah. Uh, if I, it's just, okay. I had, it, I had this a couple of times happen to me where uh, I used to say, uh, that's gay. Mm-hmm. And I still say it sometimes. Yeah. Uh, whatever. That's yeah. what I say. I grew up saying yeah, that no all the time. Yeah. Right. I mean, no disrespect to anybody. But I'm supportive to any to everybody. Yeah. If you are transgender and you want to go ahead and you know be a different gender, okay, mm-hmm. all the power to you. Yeah, like if you're gay, lesbian, transgender, you know, whatever. All that, do more, you more power to you? Like do you? I, you know, as but much don't love. fucking treat me like shit. I've had people treat me like shit from the trans, uh, not transgender, the, the LGBT mm-hmm. community. Yeah, I've had it several times where I'm just like, what the fuck is the point of this? You got gay guys treat me like shit. Not not all of them. That's not you know what I mean. I guess mm-hmm. somebody within the gay community because there's always assholes everywhere. Right. And then you got the lesbians treat me like shit because not all again not yeah. all of them some of them, whatever. But it's just such but, a detriment to the cause because I, I get the fight you know for respect and all of that. Yeah. I get the um the fight to be like equal you know rights to you know gays lesbians bias and trans. Uh, transsexuals you know i get that but when you're constantly crying wolf and constantly was that playing that card mm. you know what i mean mm-hmm. playing that hate card mm-hmm. to things that aren't even hate then it's right. a detriment to the actual cause and i feel bad for that yeah it was the whole thing with the i don't know if you want to talk about it too i don't really want to talk about it either like all lives matter black lives matter all that stuff mm-hmm. If you, you know I, mean? I don't, it's, I talked about this before in Dead Pigeon, my Dead Pigeon podcast, with my yeah. wife. We went in with that, yeah. and it's just like, it becomes a detriment to the cause when you're doing things like, "Yo, Black Lives Matter," like what the fuck, you know, to things to people that aren't even trying to be offended 
offensive to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it becomes a detriment. You know why that's the case, though, right? You know why people get so offended and uptight. I, I, I fucking found this shit out today. I, I can show you a little exam- example of tribalism. You heard of tribalism before? Mm, not very. So, no. tribalism is a fucking fascinating book. I haven't read it, but Joe Rogan had a guest on his uh, show that wrote a book called Tribalism, something like that. Mm-hmm. And he talks about how he, we, all of us, all of us, we're, we have some form of tribalism mm. within us. Oh, so you like, you want to belong to you this tribe. You want to belong to a yeah. tribe. I know what you mean now. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, everyone, LGBTQ, whatever, it doesn't matter. All these different type of social groups mm-hmm. that want to fight for a cause, you know, they mm. group up and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then they get a little too extreme then oh shit it's out of hand a little bit you know mm-hmm. what I mean and you can't go against them because then yeah. you're a fucking piece of shit mm-hmm. so this is why I got out of the PC world because yeah. I was a part of that yeah. I was a social justice warrior it's like well you gotta pick a side yeah I got attacked for a couple of times because I was asking questions I was like wait what is racist I thought racist was if I'm prejudiced against your like if I don't like your race mm-hmm. like Puerto Ricans have way more fucking power than fucking, uh, what, I forget your race. Shit. I mean, Cambodian or Chinese. I was going to say, uh, what the fuck was I going to say? You thought it was Filipino? Not Filipino. (laughs) No, no, no. Korean. Korean? Shit, I'll take that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why I thought you were South Korean or whatever. Uh, whatever Korean. Uh, Fuck, my fault. Um, damn, you're Cambodian. Yeah. We talked about this before. Fuck, I'm sorry. That's fine. I should know that. A lot of people don't know who I sh- what I am. Mean. <laughs> should fucking know that. Sorry. Anyway, some friend I am. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, for anyway, uh, Puerto Ricans are better than Cambodians. We're better. Yeah. And that's that, the definition it, of racism. Fuck when Cambodians. You, you think that type yeah. of shit. That's an asshole move. You're yeah. racist. Yeah. You know, you're trying to show that your fucking race is better superior and prestigious superior yeah and that's racism right, right. There, yeah so this is where we this is gets this is going to get offensive people so prepare your bootstraps i don't like when when people pick on white people and say that only they can be racist does it make oh, fucking no, it sense to sense. me it doesn't make sense no. so we're this that that's a new word now the new racism is white people because they have power they, mm. So the new racism word is only they. So this is a funny irony to this watch. So they say white people have power. So therefore they are the ones that are racist. So what happens when black people have more power than white people mm. one day? Oh, they're gonna be the racist ones now. Right. Like it's like Same it's thing, like, weird math that with what yeah. we're doing hip- hypocrisy and shit. Yeah. So that's why I don't like it yeah. and I disagree with it. It can go with any race. What if like um. Yeah, what it's if not Asians just... were like in more power? What if uh, Asians know, have so much power? I mean, yeah, look at China, right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking spreading I mean, the coronavirus, spread motherfuckers! Oh, man. Come on, why couldn't you spread the fucking Heineken virus or something else? Corona, though, that's Mexicans. I <laughs> got fuck with the Mexican stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just grab a six pack. What's corona? Heineken? I don't know if Heineken. Heineken? What? Like what kind of? What? Where's the? I was trying to be silly, but what's like the... where it came from? Was it Poland? No, I don't Poland. fucking know. Yeah. What's what's a Chinese fucking or oh a Chinese beer or uh, any imported beer from Asia? Let's go with Asia. Let's broaden it out. I more. can't think of one right now. I should know one, but not fuck, <laughs> horrible. <Nah. laughs> well, Michelob. I mean, Let's yeah. say Michelob. No, nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm I fucking. I mean, around. Heineken is what I drink. So <laughs> there you go. Heineken virus. Why we couldn't pick that one? Well, we gotta pick coronavirus. Fuck. Leave our beer alone. <laughs> exactly. I'm joking. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Go. Sorry, dude. But I mean, like, um, I don't know what we were talking about earlier about the. We were talking about. Like, oh yeah, like if like any race could yeah. be in that pocket, it's just a matter of like how history played out, mm-hmm. where it just turned out this way, and. Anybody can be racist, you know? doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, Hispanic, you know, all of that. Trust me, I've seen racism in all colors. Same. same. doesn't matter, you know what I mean? People are either... You putting... know what's um, interesting is that Asian people are sometimes, mo- well, most of the times in situations, are racist to each other. Yeah, well, have, is uh, it prejudice or... Ra- I'll get those confused. Re- prejudice and racism against... Because yeah. same thing with Hispanics. Latinos hate each other. Mm-hmm. 
They you got the Puerto Ricans that don't like the Dominicans mm-hmm. or the oh, yeah yeah it's that same yeah, yeah. situation like yeah. Vietnamese Cambodian and you know Chinese and you know right it's, it's just like situations this is hilarious like, that. like we're it's all like, the same people what are we why? doing yeah it's like why because tribalism man yeah tribalism we we it goes down to our roots back it's that, the same thing it's crazy with, yeah and again like, like we're not gonna talk about it but like politics where Republicans and Democrats. Fuck that. Versus each other. Yeah. Mm. Tribalism again. Yeah. But it's yeah. tribalism everywhere, man. You probably have a former tribe you're not aware of. Like, you gotta, like I have a tribe. I'm Balance. I'm Balance mm. Studios. That's my tribe. I love them. Oh, you know? Not I really, but. I can't say that I choose to belong to a certain tribe other than my family. You mm. know what I mean? That's, that's your tribe, yeah. 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 I you, mean, that is you would my fight family for them, all the way. You know? yeah. yeah. They're wrong. I'm wrong with them. So right. That's the. I guess that's how like a good a good example of like if you know a certain group that you are with yeah. that are wrong certain amount of times but you know that you'll be wrong with them then that's your tribe. That's honorable. Yeah. Me in this house. No. Like, hey, you. Fuck- I'll turn against these motherfuckers in here, really? and my daughter over there she'll kill me. <laughs> yeah. She will. <laughs> Look at her. She'll kill me. She's adorable, but she'll yes. fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she'll beat the crap out of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, you know, if my family fucks up, then I fucked up with them. Hmm. Yeah. So that's that's the only tribe I can see myself with, but that is true in a lot of um, scenarios where groups of people, groups of friends, and races, races, and um, you know, all these groups will all just stick together because they want to stick yeah, within man. that group. They're... They feel like they belong to you know someone, right? You know what I mean? Right. So again, there's tribalism, and then you have the echo chamber. You ever heard of that? If you describe it, I might know. So echo chamber is basically where everyone agrees with one thing, right? Mm-hmm. So you have the anti-vaxxers or the fucking flat earthers. Vaxxer kids. Yeah, they will, o- <laughs> <laughs> they will only, they'll group themselves in their echo chamber. So yeah. everyone speaks in literally an echo chamber and it bounces back and everyone hears mm-hmm. that. And that's all they hear. They don't, mm-hmm. they don't want to hear anybody else's opinion. They're not open-minded, yeah. basically. So you, your echo chamber is yeah. where you're limited to an ideology or a belief or whatever it is, and you don't want to change your mind for anything because you mm. want you want more people to agree with you. Right. You're using confirmation bias where you're looking for anybody to agree with you, and if anybody disagrees with you, then fucking ban them, get rid of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lock him up. He's yeah. a he's prejudiced. He's Cancel him. Cancel culture. Cancel culture. <laughs> you know that one at least. <laughs> yeah, you, you. Yeah, look at you. Hey man, yeah, staying with the time, I, son. Yeah, I, I thought you were older than me. I was like, what's going on here, bro? <laughs> you know, I left that rock you know, once in a while. You know, I, I know I live on a rock sometimes, but I, I leave it every now and then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, but we we have all these crazy things that we're doing because of social media, though. Yeah. That's like the main source. You know, I wanna I wanna actually talk about that too, where. With all of this, like, cancel culture, PC behaviors, and, like, sensitive ears, this is why nowadays I'm very quiet. You know what I mean? hmm Like, do you ever sense that where back in the day you used to just be able to talk to anybody, even though you're introverted, like, you're open for a discussion about anything? Yeah, yeah. But nowadays I keep my mouth shut. Right. So, why? Because the way we talk growing up, right? The way we spoke growing up is very, you know, it can be deemed offensive. Yes. Okay. And your viewpoints can be challenging to other people's views. Right. So a lot of times where I meet people and meet new friends and all of that, I'm always cautious about what I say because I don't know what can trigger them. I hate that. Yeah, go ahead. And because, like, I'm on that cautious, you know, kind of mannerism right it forbids me well forbode i don't know the proper term <laughs> forbids me to um fully express how i want to that talk. yeah sorry I'm, I'm cutting you off go ahead but like you know what i mean i know what you mean yeah that's what i wanted to like i'm like my brain is like it's like i, I wanna, know what you mean boy i want to talk this way you i want to say, say something you want to slam that protein I shake i want to talk to you the way i talk to my close friends yeah because i want to treat you like a close but you i don't know be yourself exactly dude but i don't know how it's going to be taken by this third party yeah you know what i mean yep so I feel i'm you, quiet 
but I'm not. A lot of people think, oh, he's so quiet. He doesn't say a word. I get that a lot at work, too. He's very quiet. He doesn't say much because I always watch what I say Yeah. out of respect. Huh. You know? That's interesting. Yeah. So that's why. So, like, yeah, you, you, you get what I mean where it's just like I can't be myself in this day and age. But I can't be. But you can. Around certain You should. Groups. And I will around my group of friends. You I should know be I yourself no matter what. Exactly. I don't know what yourself is, though. That's... I've been getting, all right, that's besides the point. It's like far, that's deep too. It's deep in the woods, tough. Yeah, I mean, meditation. Like, and like you're fucking... not too far from it. Like, this, like, yeah. I'll talk about whatever. Like, okay. I'm open to discuss, like, what we are discussing now, like, with anything. Yeah. yeah. But, like, with other people, you know, it's just, I don't know if I can make certain jokes. I can, I don't know if I can say certain things. Yeah. I know what do you mean? Around my friends, I do make like a lot of like racist jokes. Same. <laughs> I in this house, me and my wife. Oh my god! <laughs> like oh my, we do a podcast, yeah. and it's like it's silly shit, and sometimes it could be really deemed as whatever. Yeah. Like it may be it may be racist to people. But we don't give a fuck, yeah. but. Look. We're not. We don't mean to offend people. If mm-hmm. you're watching, we're we're telling you straight yeah. up. Don't fucking watch this. Yeah. This is not for you to watch. If you are gonna sit here and right. be offended by us, this we, is for you to laugh. Yeah. Because we our humor goes back to. I I didn't watch like uh, Eminem days, man. Eminem, fucking <laughs> Matt TV, yeah. fucking all the crazy Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle, yeah. fucking uh, what's his we name? We grew up on all of this. <laughs> yeah, what's his name? Got that? I lost his what name. Jim about? Carrey. Jim Carrey. All his he had a lot of offensive movies that are offensive today. <laughs> yeah. And Living Color, but, Color, I didn't watch that, but, but people don't want to think about things. that, right? Yeah. Let them go right over their head. Right? Yeah, because people want to change things, and they think that what they I, again. I'm not. This is why I, I'm really empathic, so I understand it. I understand why what people are doing. Like a today. good amount of empathy, yeah. Yeah, I get it. They want to be. They want to be kind. They want to change mm-hmm. the world and make things better. Mm-hmm. They want more acceptance, right? Yeah. They want more. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, they just want more freedom. That's what they want. They don't want to be judged for being right. gay. They don't want to be judged. They don't want to be told what to do just because they're transgender. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be fucking ruled and be discriminated against because they're black. Mm-hmm. I right. understand that. They yeah. don't want to be killed. Like by... your pay should not be different because of your race. Right. Yeah. I, I, I totally Totally understand or gender but you know? we get a little out of hand as the left or as liberals because i know you're a liberal i'm a liberal am i i don't know i don't know <laughs> that's why i said our can't beliefs discuss now so, yeah I, I can yeah well let's we don't have to do that but because i don't know where i i know <laughs> you enough to say that you're definitely not a uh, Republican. Yeah, I can't say that. You're yeah. not. You know what I mean? But yeah, I agree. I agree. You, you, I, I actually I'm like prefer agnostic that. with politics. You, I like, like that. Yeah. I like that. That's a better mindset to have. <laughs> keep it agnostic. I don't even like. To, I said I got. I need to get rid of the whole belief and all that shit because I don't care. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm just saying in general the beliefs that me and you have. I'm pretty sure it'll be a little bit more left wing. Not that mm. we're like full on extreme left no. because we're not talking about the extreme left. The extreme left. We're kind of like still in the middle, but like we're over. a little bit more left. Yeah. I know. I, again, you're not, unless you told me otherwise, then it would be different. Right. Cause I know some people I thought they were left. Yeah, and I, it's not like I'm going to be on this podcast and say like, yo, I, I voted for Trump. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I like Trump. <laughs> I like Trump. But like, I, yeah, go ahead. I'm I don't like very... Trump. I need to say that. I don't like Trump, but it's like, that's but besides the point. But it is I interesting, though. It's just like, I I do see the offense behind him. Yeah, I do see the, you know, racist things about him and all that and all that. But I'm not going to say, like, I hate the guy. Yeah, you don't why know would him. I? I'm, I don't know him. Why, yeah. would, why would he be my enemy? I don't know him. Right. You know, the only way you would hate somebody, if they personally attacked you, like, your family or your, your friends your personal life and all that if they attacked you directly then yeah this rightfully so hate them yeah but if like they're you know the president they're saying offensive things about you and all of that like about your race or gender and whatnot i mean why does he have to be like this Oh my God, we gotta take them down and all. Like cancel why? culture, yeah, man. cancel culture. It's the tribalism. Oh, this is the book I wanted to show you. Tribe. I need yeah. to buy that book. I Unless he's like read. mad, like fucking up my taxes, and you know, then I get a little offended. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm look, like, this is fucked up. Whatever. I was kind of happy what Trump did. 
With the taxes. The the uh, insurance thing. The insurance, yeah. It's fucked up because now a lot of people are not, I don't know, I don't know the full The whole thing. Medicare thing? Yeah, I don't, yeah. Know, I don't know anything about that shit, so I don't even want to talk out my ass, mm. but I was just happy that I didn't get penalized for the first time. Cause I got penalized. Oh, when you got the the when I you got six hundred dollar pen, penalty every time. I was like, for, fuck. Yeah, for not. But having. I was like, I'd rather. But then I said, I'd rather get a penalized for not having ins- health insurance than pay thousands of dollars for health insurance when I'm not using it. Right. Yeah. Like, I'm good, bro. Yeah. So I'd rather pay six hundred dollars, but it was still annoying that I was getting six hundred dollars <sighs> out of my fucking. You know, I mean, the health system itself in this country is a mess, so... Yeah, it's a whole fucking... Mess anyway. Long story that we're not going to discuss. Because I don't know shit about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, going back to what we were talking about, you know, overall, everyone is so focused on this one thing because of these, man. This is why I've been preaching all my... T- yes. Like, when I first started, because I was a part of it. I was a PC person. Mm-hmm. I was all about trying to like spread justice social justice yeah warrior whatever the fuck i was called it a couple times i just want to because i was trying to my goal was just to leave an impact on mm-hmm. doing what i can even though i'm fucking working i'm not i don't give a fuck i'm not right. gonna go fucking protest but yeah. i was just trying to like do the facebook thing where mm-hmm. i'm like yeah do this yeah of course they should have you know whatever i was just agreeing right. and then i realized after my, you know, when I met my wife, my daughter, mm-hmm. um, you know, things changed me perspectively yeah. because I was like, what am I doing? Who the fuck am I? Right. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm on Facebook every day for what? Spending hours doing what? What am I doing? Right. And this is before Muay Thai Jiu Jitsu, before everything. That was your outlet. That was the only thing you had. That's as all I had is yeah. getting on Facebook. And it's addicting, dude. See, I. I think really what people need to do is have a sense, have more of a sense of empathy where... Get a sense of humor. No, I'm kidding. And sense of humor. But like, for me, I'm extremely empathetic where in a way it's like, if someone's crying, I feel the need to cry too. Like, I feel like I'm about to cry too. If someone's angry, which I hate being around, I'm angry too. Mm. I just pick it up. I pick up the emotions around me where I feel like that's what being empathetic is. You have the emotions around you and you just feel it as well. You under you under you both understand it which is sympathetic, but you also feel it as well as a feedback is like this is making me feel shitty too. Yeah. So if I say something offensive and make someone cry, then I will overwhelmingly like apologize and just like I'm sorry I didn't mean to and all that. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you're a kind person. I mean, yeah. don't say that, though, because then that's offensive. Then I'm not a kind person anymore. Yeah, because now you're not a kind no, person because you said that. No oh, nice, my fucking God, I hate that, too. No true nice person ever calls himself a nice person. The fuck out of here. <laughs> I called myself a philosopher this one time because that's what I am. I, I philosophize on things, and I actually man. practice what I philosophize on. Why are you putting on. labels on, man? But because I... <laughs> oh, that was another thing I want to talk about, labels. Because I said, oh, I'm a philosopher. Uh, one of my acting buddies... On on Facebook, uh, laughed at me, and I said, "Oh, it was funny." Oh, because you called yourself a philosopher. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. And then proceeded to make fun of me because I made my I call myself a philosopher. I was like, "Yeah." She's a PC person, I think, by the way, and mm-hmm. she also made she also told her uh, her roommate apparently, and they both laughed because that's hilarious. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I don't bother anybody on Facebook. Yeah, this is after the PC days. I, I'm now. I'm talking about this is recently. I'm not trying to talk shit about her, but this is the world we live in yeah. where the hypocrisy is real. Mm-hmm. So you're cool to make fun of me. Meanwhile, you're white and all this shit, and you're like talking against white people because you're so PC and mm-hmm. all woke and shit. Yeah. Yet you're talking yeah. shit about me because I'm, I consider myself a like, philosopher. And you, that's a, that's you a have yeah. great interest in it. I'm passionate yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, which, like, I see that, right? Yeah. I see that. But she doesn't see that. She just saw the phrase you said, I'm a philosopher. Yeah. That's all she saw. Yeah. She don't see your interest in it. Right. And I didn't just say I'm a philosopher. I just said, oh my God, it took me a while to realize this, but holy fuck, I'm a philosopher. (laughs) It was like an epiphany I had. And I just expressed it on Facebook. And then here's this fucking (laughs) chick that... And I was like, her life must be fucking awesome. Who are you to call yourself a philosopher? Yeah, I was like, oh... 
I didn't, I, you know, comedian, you know, I know you got a Hispanic privilege motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my Latino ness. That's what, it's my Latino privilege. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I, I get what you mean, though. Yeah. It's, I, it's... I, I had to stop myself from, I was like, you know what? This is what you said. You can't say things because then you don't know what to say because then people are just going to like just whatever you don't know how they're going to take but it. at the same time this is why i disagree like i get where you, uh, you can do obviously you can do what you want to do of mm-hmm. course but i honestly don't fucking care i'm a philosopher yeah i am a martial artist i am a photographer i still i can still make films if i wanted to so i'm a filmmaker mm-hmm. i'm all this shit but i am what i do right so it really is what i do it's not really I can't. I don't go fuck about these labels if I'm not doing anything. Right. You know what I mean? I think um, to dive on to that, uh, I don't know if there's a quote from somebody. I just can't remember who. Where, no matter how long you argue and discuss with a person, there's no point in trying to uh, convince a close-minded idiot. Hmm. You Basically. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Because the argument will go on and on and on because yeah. they will never see your side of it. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm in a way where it's like, I don't argue. I like to discuss. If it leads to an argument, then I walk away. Right. It's not worth it. Right. I'll go for a discussion. And if we have, you know, conflicting ideas where they're not, you know, aligned with each other, then I see that as like, okay, you know, but if we're willing to see from each other's point of view, then I appreciate that. Right. If we're not going to agree, that's fine. As long as we understand other, you know, each other's point of view. Right. Then I'm fine with that. She we could, don't need to agree. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. She could have, like, like for that example, she could have, like, came up with a different approach. Um, I don't know how she would have said it, but, like, brought it up that, oh, that, oh that's cool. And, you know, that's good that you identify as a philosopher, but what do you do that you, uh, you know, ask the question? Like, <laughs> she's trying to have you justify it. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. You know what I mean? Something. Yeah. Like, just not it's fucking like I, say. It's like, I didn't say I'm a police officer. Yeah. yeah. Where's your badge? Right, exactly. <laughs> like I didn't say something like more official. Philosopher, anyone, you're a philosopher. Yeah. No, people, everyone, a lot of people are philosophers. They don't even realize exactly. it. Exactly. Right. It's so, just the way you think, the way you're processing your thoughts and your beliefs and your opinions can easily make you a philosopher. Yeah. Just because it's not on paper, like so what? Right. Yeah. So, so yeah, you don't need a degree basically to be a philosopher. Right. And a, it's just I don't know. Uh, my my point to that though is fucking people are so fucking goddamn judgmental with mm-hmm. each other yet they're woke and shit yeah. and they're talking about empathy for you, you know we gotta make sure we treat the like okay this is the extreme part we gotta make sure we treat this black transgendered female the best because mm-hmm. they are the queens or whatever they are yeah you know what I mean mm-hmm. but let's treat let's treat Will like shit because he's Hispanic, he's right. a man. He's mansplaining so then, yeah. or whatever the fuck. That so, doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so <laughs> then what are we really talking about? You, you're talking about treating these you know, individuals respectfully, but you're still open to disrespect other people. Yeah, regardless. it doesn't make sense. So what is your goal really? You know what I mean? If your goal is not to respect and treat people fairly, then I don't want any part of it. Right. You know? I, I don't fucking care what race you are. I don't care what sexual preference or yeah. whatever. Just don't treat me like shit, and we can be cool as fuck. Exactly. Now, if you treat me like shit, then we're not. Then we're not. <laughs> you know what I mean? that. And I was trying to be nice to her because, uh, again, I don't like talking shit. I, I feel like I'm talking shit, and I don't like talking shit. But you get my point. I just, uh, yeah. I was trying to be nice to her. I, was, I forgot what I said. I was joking with her, but she took it serious. Long story short, she thinks I changed. I did change, actually. Thank mm. you very much for noticing. But she doesn't yeah. like who I am, which is funny. Uh, that's another long oh. fucking discussion to have about it's, how people connect with you yeah. because they think that you changed mm-hmm. uh, differently in, in terms of you're not who you were before. Yeah. The irony of that is that who she knew me as, the will that was suicidal thoughts, that wanted to kill himself, that didn't mm. want to be here, that didn't love himself. Yeah. That's what she's talking about that she missed. And I'm like, what? You don't like who I am now. I fucking love everything about my life. I am great. Like I'm grateful for everything. I practice gratitude every day. I love my wife, my mm-hmm. kids. I'm a different human being. I'm a different right. man. And you don't right. you don't like this, but you prefer that because you have this little false, yeah, you know, yeah. illusion, whatever. Anyway, it's... Th- she is one out of the 
millions of people that have that same mentality. mentset mentality. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm using her as an example. Right. But I, I do, I, I know exactly what you mean because I do see that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it's very hip, hypocritical. So yeah. it's it's the world we live in, man. Yeah. And again, that goes back to how I was talking about where I just have to keep wa- watching what I say because I don't know who's going to get triggered by it. Man, fuck them. Trigger. Okay. <laughs> trigger. Trigger. Here's, here's my mentality for that. Look, I, I mean, no disrespect to people. I. Uh, when you are, you, you just do you, man. Yeah. And if you say something defensive, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. I said, I did, what, what was it? Uh, My wife, I'll yeah. show you, I'll show you what. My wife did something. <laughs> she posted something, or I posted it for her. Uh, She posted this, or she made this meme. I saw that about the coronavirus. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. How did you feel? Did that That's offend you? That's pretty funny. No. Okay. So my, my, she's Chinese, my Chinese friend from, uh-huh. uh, from school. Again, I'm not talking shit about her. Uh, uh, she's cool. But she kind of made like this. Really? She made one of those faces. Like, really? emo. He's like, really? So she got offended. I don't know what she felt. But I felt like I got to respond to her. Yeah. So yeah. I hit her up. I was like, look, I, we're having fun. We're all human beings. I was yeah. like, if you feel, if you want to feel something, make fun of my damn culture. Mm-hmm. Here, I'll make fun of myself. And then I, did a da- <laughs> I proceeded with a dad joke. I said, uh, what the fuck? I said, what did the Asian person Say, uh, damn, what was it? Fuck, I, fought, I forgot the joke that I said. <laughs> if you're not gonna finish it, I'm gonna find it offensive now. <laughs> God damn it, I can't find my what own fucking joke. What did the Asian person say? <laughs> what did the Asian person say? And then nothing, I don't remember. I don't know, ni hao. Because they were speaking <laughs> different language. Just as with my, what? <laughs> God damn it, I forgot. Uh, you get my point though. I was trying to, like, because I, I, I saw that I clearly offended her. I don't know, I, I don't know if I offended her, but like, what does that tell you? The eye roll. Yeah. That that tells me, oh, shit. Okay. So I said, um, I hope this doesn't affect you negatively. It's all play. You can make a joke about Latinos or us, wife and I, if you want. Here's a shitty dad joke about our mixed culture. What did the Asian dude say to the Hispanic dude? Hey, Carlos, how the fuck you been? How the fuck you been? <laughs> <laughs> what else? A dad Ba-dum-tsh. joke. But anyway... I, I was just trying to make make light fun because yeah. we're human beings, dude. Yeah. We're not. I don't care what race you are. I don't care yeah. what sex you are. Whatever. As long as you're fucking cool. Yeah. You're not treating me like shit. You're not disrespectful. You're awesome in my book. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you. Well, now if you sort if you switch genders on me every day, it's gonna confuse me because I, I don't want now and then right. you get offended right. because I called you she or he, but you just switch genders on me. That's, yeah. You're getting out of fucking line, okay? That's, or. Or That's, you're going with your 72 pronouns. Yeah. I'm not dealing with that shit. I'm sorry. I can't. Yeah, I, I could can do with either. two genders or three, whatever, them yeah. or they. But I can't go with the... Sh- yeah, you know what I mean? whole giant spectrum. Fuck that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I still love you as a like, person. Just give me your name. I'll address you as so. But then they switched to the name because they're switched to gender. Well, you know what? You better keep that name because I'm not going to call you this name Monday and call you that name It's going to confuse the shit. <laughs> yeah. It's just, can we keep it simple, people? Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to say keep, keep it simple, stupid, but you know that's what it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's the life that I love, man. I love the life of just us having fun. We don't yeah. we don't give a fuck about what race. I'm not inviting you on because you're Asian and you know kung fu. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, I gotta know kung fu? <laughs> <laughs> I invi- and I ne- I didn't put you. Remember we yeah. made a film together. I didn't put you on my film because I'm looking for an Asian guy, an Asian guy to, put, to do kung fu in my film. Yeah, I think we were no. just kind of. Openly discuss that. You were cool like, I about was it. Saying I was trying to do that too. Yeah, I said, like, "Fuck it, come on, be in my <laughs> film. I don't care. I don't need a white yeah. person or a black person. It doesn't it's, matter with race or Hispanic yeah. because I want to go for all Latinos and making films. Mm-hmm. I want it mix anybody. If you're if you want to act and you're down to act, let's go. And, and you're dude, that's what I appreciate about working with Peggy a lot. You notice that every role that we've been given was never based on race. Yeah, yeah. We had like always a mixed group and once more. Right, Hispanic, Asian, white, um, black, uh, whatever. Like we had mixes all over the place, so we weren't casted based on our race. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's whatever, man. Like whatever race you are, whatever gender, whatever um, sexual orientation you are, if you're happy, be happy. You know, much love. Do whatever makes you happy. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I love Peggy. I got in trouble by her. You remember that? But the, I slightly remember it, but because I, I did something offensive that I didn't realize was offensive. Because I, again, I was stuck yeah. in my fucking comedy like 
Yeah. I thought it was just like funny. I didn't think it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna offend anybody. But now I think about it, I was like, I guess I see why people don't do it now. But back then, people did it like nothing. You yeah. know. It's always just time and place nowadays. You yeah. Know? But anyway, like as much as I want to make certain jokes, I I know in certain places I can't. You know? Yeah, I didn't know. I had no barriers. Yeah. I wanted to be a comedian. I wanted yeah. to make people laugh. Yeah. What made me laugh? I wanted to see if people would laugh. Right. Yeah. But I found out. Oh, pretending to be a Japanese character and using a Japanese accent is not normal. <laughs> it's not. It's offensive. Well, it, it wasn't even. It wasn't me. And, and the character wasn't even trying to be. Uh, I wasn't even trying to be Japanese character. I was trying to be a man pretending to be Japanese. Mm. I was trying to be a fucking fake martial artist, basically. Right, right. That's not. I don't. It's. It's not, to me. That's not offensive. To me, that's just me playing a character yeah. who's delusional. Yeah. Who's an asshole. Right, so right, right. why don't you you can laugh at it or you don't have to it's laugh. It's kinda at like it. that Tropic Thunder thing where Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. played a black character. Yeah. He fucking He's a guy it. playing a guy. He's a dude playing a dude. This yeah. guy's another dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did blackface, got away he with it. He literally did it. He, yeah. he literally did and it. He can't man. do that now. No. Nope. But the point is, dude, like with Peggy is uh she's cool. She uh she's not really you know she don't give a fuck who you are as long if you are down to act and you show and you listen take direction Mm -hmm. and you do your part go for it exactly that's right you chill help me love the craft so much because you know if you never had that taught to you you would think oh Hollywood will only cast me if I was a you know six foot white guy to play the lead role you know yeah yeah so. When you have that in your stuck in your head, it just makes you hopeless. You know what I mean? It's like I can't do acting because right. you have that stigma that that's what you need to be to be a successful actor. Right. Peggy helped me see that I can just be who I am and play a certain role, however I want to play it, as long as I make it convincing, regardless of my race, regardless of my gender, regardless of any of all that. As long as I play the role convincingly, I did my job. Right. So I do like much kudos to Peggy about that. Speaking of uh, Peggy, we can roll into what you're doing with her now, right? She's the director, I'm assuming. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yes. So she's directing um, once more's production of Jason and the Argonauts, uh, performed at uh, Plays and Players Theater, which is right on 17th and Delancey. That's right around 17th and Spruce between Spruce and Pine. Um, we're up from March 12th to the 21st. Um, if you go right on my Instagram, you'll be able to either hit me up in my DMs, I guess, or how these kids Slide say. into the DMs, <laughs> son. Or just go into my profile. You'll see a link to our website as well. And um, go from there. Uh, hope to see you guys at the show. Uh, again, we're from March 12th to the 21st, performing Jason and Argonauts. And I will be playing Jason. Jason. Yeah. <laughs> how do you feel about this play? Are you, is that the lead that character? He- are you making Heavy Rain joke? Remember yeah Jason, Jason. Oh God. <laughs> i didn't know you got that i said it and I, I don't know where i got that from that's I got funny you that said that immediately that's Cause... funny i said it just to say because I, I remember using jason <laughs> if you guys don't know look up heavy rain jason oh my you god fucking crack up that this got into a game yeah, <laughs> just a horrible fucking the way he said jason <laughs> It's <laughs> funny you got that. I didn't even get it. I just said it because like, I, I remember, that my, was just a, a thing. Yeah, my humor is on twenty four seven. My humor is never. I will connect uh, with any joke, even if you didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah, my my jokes are never good. <laughs> my humor sucks, and my brain is never on. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, that's when you gotta wake up early, and your energy is just up there skyrocketing. And early in the morning, yeah. and you're ready for the rest of the day. Oh my god! So I'm on. 24 <laughs> 7 that's crazy you got a skill man um but yo i gotta bring this up where like with my group of friends we did talk about like how you make like racist jokes here and there with yeah. your set of group of friends i would because uh i have like chinese friends i have vietnamese friends you know i, I <laughs> for my vietnamese uh, friends out there <laughs> i'm sorry but i'm gonna make this joke <laughs> where it's like how does a vietnamese person play duck duck goose Wait, 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 wait. How wait, wait. does a Vietnamese person play Duck Duck Goose? I don't know. Duck Duck Goose? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, every, 
<laughs> all my Middle East friends I tell it to, they're like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> but then it goes into the realms where it's like, I speak their languages. Yeah. Like some some terms where it's like, Didi Mao is like, means like, hurry up. Didi Mao is like, mm-hmm. hurry up, hurry the fuck up. Um, and then like if I go into the Hispanic side, one of my friends told me is like, yo, just go up to a girl and say, Siete te omicara. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what that means, no. right? <laughs> no, you have to know what siete te omicara means. No. Sit, it's like sit on my face. <laughs> oh, 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 siéntate. Siéntate. <laughs> yeah. Siéntate. Oh, okay. I didn't omicara. Know. Oh, okay. I didn't know you. I thought you were like speaking Italian for a minute. I'm like, Ooh. I don't know Italian. Siete de what do I know of Italian? Just like Siete de Mikara, uh, No, <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know much. It's offensive. No, uh, me, no, not that. No, then I don't know Italian. Mi amore, mi amore, yeah. yeah. But like God, even mia. even like Chinese, I know like Mandarin and Cantonese. I know the differences. So if I'm gonna be like you know making racist joke, I have to research. I do my research and I know much about the culture and the people so mandarin is a lot of like sure our sure me sure like a lot of that and like cantonese is like a lot of, i hear it all the time it's like maya like suck say i like, eat shit <laughs> Poke. what the fuck and uh one of my chinese friends even told me that um cantonese is like the country side of the language okay. <laughs> where like mandarin is more like formal like business like kind of language. Uh, okay. So it's kinda of like Spanish and uh like from Spain. Uh huh. And like Puerto Rican Spanish. It is like you know cabron put puta madre. Yeah, yeah, puta madre. Uh, whatever. Where's Spain? Arroz candules. More... Them is like Arroz con candules. Like, Whereas like, like I know uh, in Spain gracias gracias is not like gracias it's more like gracias gracias you're asking wrong person it's man like, i don't know shit <laughs> how do you know man. spanish man how you gonna let me research it for oh, you yeah. <laughs> you know more language than me you're an but actor i'll say this and i say it to my friends all the time when i make a racist joke it's not being racist it's racially aware <laughs> where i you're, know when are you are you a dad Am I a dad? Because you're like up in my dad jokes. I don't appreciate that right now. <laughs> I love dad jokes, man. Like, my wife it's is like, like, okay, but if, now you. If you get c- called racist for making the joke, just be like, I'm racially, racially aware. aware. I'm racially aware, son. <laughs> I don't want to steal your joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I know about the race before I even make a dumb joke. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know, like, Vietnamese, it's like a lot of like, like, when you say do ma, do ma, it's like, Ew, man, it's like it's like very back there. It's like when you're pronouncing certain things in ew, man. It's like very like back there when you're that's saying. That's so weird. Word. Like I said, patterns, man. Yeah. These patterns that we all speak. And like that's where like I find love in learning new languages, like Russian, Breviet, and Dosvidanya. You speak a certain way to port portray that language. Yeah. To say that language, like you pronounce it in a certain way. To right. make convincing because if you don't pronounce it a certain way then it just becomes offensive right right because right, 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 if right, i say right. something in spanish which i already did incorrectly i guess some people were like what the fuck you say man uh, i don't i don't care <laughs> i don't even speak spanish i know very little spanish sir yeah but i do know like if you said something like off like the accent yeah i can tell like you said i forgot how you say siéntate you, siéntate. you said siéntate. Si- i think you said siéntate. Some, siéntate. i don't remember siéntate. you said it off and i was like oh you mean siéntate because it's siéntate. Like, yeah siéntate. Siéntate. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's that See, way now i'm a pendejo <laughs> siéntate, cabrón. something like that but yeah i mean like that's uh, that's where i just have fun man like i just that's what learn to not take things too seriously. Yep. And I'm just that's my real that's me. That's right. my real me. Just not taking things seriously and just having fun. And I will keep that empathy and not try to offend people. If I'm offensive, then let me know and I'll stop. Right. You no, know, I won't use it around you. Right. I'll, I'll use just it around use my it. group of friends. <laughs> no. <laughs> they want you to stop completely, sir. Oh, they want me to stop completely? Well, <sighs> They you, want you to... If you're not there with the camera, I'm not stopping. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny thing with that, though. Like, I, I, We don't have to go too much far because we were really far into it, but it's 
it's power, man. People want power and money. Like it's all it is. Yeah. All that shit. All these groups. Power and money. Uh -huh. What are and you fighting for? You know what? A lot of times when something doesn't make sense, I tell you know my friends and other people. I tell them, if something doesn't make sense, it must have something to do with money. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Hmm. Because why is this person getting fired? It must have something to do with money. Yeah, because didn't make you know? sense. So they try to make dollars. And then you lead into you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to up. Uh, I'm trying to like beat down. I got dad jokes. Come on, you don't want to hear my dad jokes. Come on, man. No, you're not even a dad. That's not. What? That's not funny. I'm offended now because you're not even a dad. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm a real dad. Yeah. All right. What about this joke? Um, what what do you call a truck that carries shoes? I don't know what. A tow truck. Fuck. I'm not laughing. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a pig that I likes can't. to dig holes? A groundhog. Are right, you hear this? You hear this Yo, guy? I'm happy I get to like, bring my jokes out. Of you make me look bad on my podcast, sir. I can't even come up with any dad jokes. My Damn. my brain is like, I'm, you know, I'm almost thirty. I need to be a dad so I can make these jokes. Just come on, son, it. make it a proof. <laughs> you have you with somebody? Nah, I'm See not. Anybody? I haven't dated in a long. Come on, time, swipe left bro. or right, right it would be right or yeah. whatever. I don't fucking know. We're that old. I don't know if that, I don't even know if that if that's a thing anymore. But I mean, if we're diving into like the relationship realm of it, it's um. I don't want to say that. Oh, I'm waiting for like the right person and all that. Oh no, I your knight is shining. <laughs> well, I'll be the knight in shining armor. <laughs> like, no, your knight is shining. Do it. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. But like, yo, if I'm I'm at that age where I'm ready to just find somebody, settle down, kids, and all of that. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. But then people are like, no, you gotta, you know, have fun and, you know, just date around, you know. You yeah, but, know. motherfucker, you're I'm not my turning, age, yeah, bitch. Yeah. And I, oh, there's like, you know, age is just a number, you know, you're always gonna be young. And it's like, ah. but my mindset is where I'm ready to have a son or daughter. I'm open to both. But I want a son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. But, um, like, I'm at that age where I want to be a dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. But getting there, I want to do it smart. And of I, course. I, I, I want to do it intelligently. Yeah, you don't want to rush you know? it. Exactly. With the wrong I don't person. What rush it? I don't want to be. And I tell, I, I say this too, where it's like, if I'm gonna meet my future wife, I don't want to meet her as a broke motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? With no goals in life, with no direction or anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like I'm in a good spot where I'm getting there. You know, and I want to have my feet planted in a successful state where i can say is like all right i'm ready i can buy a house have kids and settle down you know what i mean i want that um but meeting someone like that is hard today because not a lot of people you know not a lot of ladies want kids not a lot of women want um to settle down have a family that yeah. i meet that i meet you know that i you know come across right so that's where it becomes difficult where even like online dating, I don't, it's just a lot of fooling around. That's a mess. I spent my younger years already doing that. I'm done. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm ready to be serious, but not a lot of people are. Hmm. So, that's kind of like where I'm at in my current relationship status. I am single, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> but I do not want to waste time. So, someone serious about you know settling down yeah you know. if you're japanese don't even try it he's not after you because no, well, he can't. doesn't like him what? i'm joking i'm joking i like japanese women i'm joking <laughs> well i forget what race you said you said cambodians versus what i'm cambodian with uh some chinese no no i meant uh we were fucking around earlier you said cambodians versus like, are you talking about like race yeah race, race wars yeah where cambodians and vietnamese so vietnamese ladies Hit him up. But I... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my exes were Vietnamese. No, oh, that's word. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. And half Chinese, so, yeah. Huh. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm pretty much at that age. Yeah, pretty I Pretty much you. at that... Not like, you know, I'm, I'm not saying, like, oh, I'm getting too old. I'm just at that mentality age, I guess. I would no, say no. I know you mean man. mental age. You get to a certain point, and you're like, all right, what's up? Like, you know, you, what's the next stage? You're like, whatever you're doing, but yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, you don't need my advice, but 
you just keep doing you, man. And, and I'm happy just, with what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, just keep doing you. Enjoy the best that you can. Put yourself out there more. Let I, that I let that up. Vietnamese lady come to you again, man. <laughs> Why you got Vietnamese? Man? <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to switch it up. I'm man. running with the wanna, joke, man. I have you to. Know, maybe Ukrainian. No, I might. Wait. I might dive in the Ukrainian. Hey, man. whatever. <laughs> Ukrainian ladies out there. <laughs> I know someone. Wait, she's not Ukrainian. Never mind. I'm mm. gonna put that away. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. But like, just someone serious and not, you know, up to wasting my time. Yeah. Where it's like. I'm done going partying. I'm done clubbing and all that stuff. I'm done doing all that wasteful money, you know, waste. No, you know, I hear you. It's a waste of money, and yep. I don't want to waste my time with it because, again, time is money too. So. Right. Time is just legit money. Yeah, yeah. Time management is important. Please uh, manage your time wisely. Yep. You know, so, um. Like that's, I guess that's what I can say about that. Yeah, you know? that's what I said, man. Just keep doing you. Yeah. Keep acting Cause, and. Cause like, yeah, what I'm doing now is kind of like just building myself. Right. You know, building what I have and just keep moving forward. And um, I'll say this: we're talking about like the philosophies of like your job. Um, I was thinking about this earlier, where a lot of the jobs that you start out with. Mm -hmm involves hard labor physical labor and you're paid for as such right. you know what i mean it starts out with your hands you know doing hard labor and then when you reach a certain type of success and i'm hoping that people are reaching for the same thing where you're eventually paid for this you know everything up here right and then it shows on your pay grade where i feel like that's where I'm at currently, where I'm being paid to use this rather than being forced to use this all the time. Mm -hmm. And eventually my end, not even end goal, like my future goal would be to be able to use both this, <laughs> your cat. I know I'm trying to distract him and get away. Yeah. He's like annoying. But get away. The, the future goal of mine is to really be able to use this and this, you know, and to use both and pay myself. Right. You know what I mean? That's what I really want to reach to. So it all starts with hard work and being paid for it. And then it starts with using your mind and your brain, your knowledge, knowledge, <laughs> knowledge, um, and being paid for that. So eventually get to the point where you can pay yourself using both mm -hmm. and that's that's what i'm working towards so hoping that um i get there um i can't say soon maybe one year two years now from now or three we'll see but i'm just gonna keep working hard and you know uh put myself out there i should audition more i haven't auditioned i was gonna ask you about that are you gonna okay. I, I should you should go to just fuck it. Go to New York. Come on, man. That stop making me feel like shit, man. I know I should do it. <laughs> do it. But dude, I wanna, I wanna do that. Actually, I wanna like take a ride do to it. New York. It's thirty dollars to take a train up there. Fuck Go. the train. I'm riding my motorcycle up oh. there. Oh, That's yeah. what I wanna do. Oh well, fuck. Go. I wanna just be like that guy that just rides the motorcycle all the way from Philly then to New York. Act and like audition, act and all that. There's a lot of Vietnamese women out there. No, I'm joking. Sorry. I'm running with it. Oh, can I date a Hispanic girl at least? Yeah, hey, well, there's a lot of Latinas <laughs> up there too. Whatever. Whatever your preference. You know. And then... Um, a lot of Polish girls. They were Polish, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that, but yeah. Or or German. I only know yeah. how to curse in German, so I can't really... Oh, no, she'll teach you <laughs> and she'll curse at you because... <laughs> Scheistrick. You know? It means God damn it or like shit. Huh. Scheist Scheistrick. Oh. <laughs> I, don't know, I just know shyster because whatever. Anyway, yeah, but um, yeah, that's what I want to do. That's and man, that's what you want to do, or that's what you're going to do. That's what I'm you're, gonna you're do. You're gonna fucking do it. That's what I will do. All right, that's see you. What I will. Bye. I'll, you go yeah. now. All right. You got yeah. three hours. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Which and yeah, I still ride in the cold. Um, making sure I have heated gear and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Have so, you have you auditioned recently? Like, have you ever, like, auditioned? You got, now you got you got rid of those butterflies and shit where you get, like, nervous. The last time I auditioned, 
was probably five years ago. Damn. It's Come on, dog. Long, You're a failure. No, I am. Failure. But that's because I've been focusing on all this other stuff. You know what I mean? Well, get rid of some stuff that you don't need no. to focus on. <laughs> okay, I'm not your boss. You're right. I'll shut up. I need to do this. I'm your father. You listen to me. I, I need to film nah, more. I know, I know. I need to involve myself in filming more. Uh oh. It's good? It's still. Hold on. Try it. it probably just stopped because. Uh, Make some space. Yeah. Damn. But the audio is still on, so you anyway, guys can still hear us. It's fine. We can still use the audio. Yeah. Cause then I had to do more extra work here. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I need a, I need to audition more. I need to audition more. I need to get myself out there and, and I will, it. you know, just balancing things out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep up with the working out cause that saved my life. Right. I'm keeping up with Muay Thai. That's helping me and keeping up with, um, performing with once more. And right. just do you, man. And yeah. then eventually you might run into somebody. Don't even think about that. It's like, uh, here's my thing. Hopefully she's not an actor. Let me just. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me just tell you how I met my wife. I, I all hope was lost. Whatever. That story, you know. Yeah, I, I yeah, left. Yeah. I left I once more theater. Uh, I don't know what my direction I was going. Um, I started working for Terror Behind the Walls because a friend of mine told me about it. I saw that. Yeah. And then I I got that job and I was like happy about that job. I was like, oh, this is cool. We get to scare people, and I was pretty good at it. And I was like, oh, this is legit. I get to fucking scare people. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, long story short, I was at uh, I met I met my wife, but for, like she was a security guard there, and I just knew her as the this. I thought she was like a military chick. I was like, oh, this chick she looks badass. But okay, anyway, I said hi. She kind of like looked at me like, what the fuck. Nigga, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And then moved on. But uh, one day, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, it was like a, at the end of the year, it was done. It was like a little party or whatever. Mm-hmm. She looked at me, and I saw her looking at me. And I do my thing. This is my thing. I do. You know you saw, you know those birds yeah. in the wild? They spread their wings, and then they, I know, I know, they dance. Yeah. So that's what I do. That's how I, when I know a chick is looking at me, yeah. it's my time. So I start to act a fool. Or I'll do something to be silly or to grab attention because that's how I do it. Mm-hmm. So my friend was there and I kept calling him a bitch. I was like, you fucking bitch. I was just being loud and nauseous. I was being myself, but I was just expressing a little bit more so that she can whatever. Mm-hmm. So that worked. But I didn't know it worked because, you know, it was just the way it was. Mm-hmm. The way it was. Long story short, you ever, did you see the picture of me and her? She was Freddy Krueger of Nathan Drake. Uh, I might have. Anyway, yeah. it was a cash party. I met her. I ran into her that day. I was like, "Oh my god, you're Freddy Krueger. That's my favorite, you know, villain." Yeah. And uh, that's cool shit and whatever. And I didn't realize it was her. And I was like, "Oh shit, that's that girl. It's that military chick." I was like, oh, and so I was just like kicking it yeah. with her. And then, anyway, long story short, that from there turned into you know, uh, us talking as friends. Then it led into us uh, having interest, and I was like, no, because she has kids, and I don't want kids. Yeah. I don't know if you know all that shit, but, you know, then, uh, again, how it happened, it was not planned at all. Like, I didn't think, oh, I need to find a girl. Most, I gave up. Most of the time, that's how it happens. Yeah. It's not planned. It just, yeah. that's how it it's crazy. Like this life grants you just what you want, just whenever, you, whenever yeah. it wants to, and you just like, oh, this is it. Okay. You definitely needed that, man. Yeah, because look yeah. how much changed. Like I got all yeah. this shit now. I'm podcasting. I'm, I do more. I train martial arts. I'm the happy. Like, what? I don't want to talk too much shit about myself, but I'm just happy as fuck. And but I'm that's chilling. good. And that's yeah. I I see that. I see that all the time online. I'm like, you know, I'm happy that you got out of that rut. Yeah, yeah, oh I my mean, god. I no, I, trust me, I was <laughs> there. I remember. <laughs> you know, yeah. Jesus Christ. It's so just is it little I'm glad to see um everything working out now that it is. You just got to keep that consistency. Oh up. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The demons are still around. Yeah, and that's along with the self-help stuff cuz I didn't really um dive into that subject. Did I? I don't know. Uh we played with it. We didn't go too yeah. much into it, but yeah. But um, self-defense. I mean, like I I give my um uh, two takes about that where it's like self-help really what was i gonna say um really like you can never get rid of those like dark emotions 
You know right. what I mean? Like depression and all that stuff. You really. Gesundheit. Hey. Hey. You really can never get rid of it. And I've learned to accept that. All you can really do is plug in happiness. Mm. Just keep plugging in happy things, happy thoughts, happy moments, and being around happy people. Mm -hmm. Because you can never get rid of, like, trauma that you've had in the past. You can never get rid of, like, dark, depressing moments that you've had in the past. It's still going to be there. Mm -hmm. Just shoving more happy things to just, you know... Was that term just to blot it all out? Right. You know what I mean? So that's how you deal with it. Don't yeah. Anything you you have uh, affecting you negatively, you just try to get positive stuff as much as you can in there. Yeah, because like people don't see it, but like I've had my share of like depression, man. I had my share of like I went to therapy, you know, coming out of high school, mm. and um, I I did suffer like a lot of like sad moments and all that, so. People see me a lot, and I'm, like, always, like, that happy-go-lucky guy, whatever. Like, I'm always smiling and laughing and cracking jokes. But it goes with that saying, it's, like, the ones who laugh the loudest, cry the hardest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so, was me, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you hey. find humor to try to calm you down. Yeah. And I was that guy. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm just learning to just accept that. You know, it's just going to still be there. But I have so many happy things now mm. that I'm in a very, like, terrific spot. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? And when I found acting after, and this was around after my therapy for, like, depression and anger management, I found acting, and that saved my life. So, theoretically, I can say that Peggy really saved my life on this one. Because mm. I was just done i was like college is not working yeah i'm unemployed i'm still living with my mom i'm just like fuck man i don't know what to do i'm just gonna call it quits you know right. what i mean and then take it acting it's like holy shit there's so much more to this world that i can do mm -hmm. so yeah i mean like even to this day i still have those like dark emotions it's there mm -hmm. but i'm accepting that that's part of me and that's what helped me get, like, get here right. because I had to fight that. Mm. I had to constantly battle against those negative thoughts, those demons that we all have because mm. we all suffer some form of depression. Oh, yeah. You know, Wake up in the morning, you don't want to go to work, and you're waiting for Friday, and thank God it's Friday, and you're looking for three days out of the week that's your happy time. Mm. Why can't every day exactly. be your happy moments? Right. You know what I mean? So it does need to be discussed. It does need to be talked about of how people are depressed. Because when you get to talk about it, when you get to express it, that's you letting a bit of it go and just relieving your yourself. Because if you bottle all of that up, and I've done, I'm pretty sure you've done this too, where you bottle up these emotions. I did it all the time, yeah. And one of these days, it just blows up. You're like, yep. Holy shit! It's come it. out uncontrollably. I didn't mean that. You know? Yeah. You say you said or did a lot of horrible shit or whatever that affected other people, and you didn't mean it. You know? I didn't it's hear like... multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> so the negative thoughts will always be there because it's part of you, and yeah. accepting that is a big step. Right. And I've just learned to accept that. Yeah, I know I can never get rid of it, but I know. I can always be around positive things. Yeah, it's a balance, man. I, I, people, I tell, I always say this shit. Don't try to neglect your negative stuff. Mm -hmm. This tattoo right here of Joker. This is a dope tattoo. Thanks. Uh, this is my darkness. This is a reminder of my pain, my suicidal thoughts, my mm -hmm. depression, whatever you want to have. This is the the person that the reason why I love the Joker so much is because this was me driving myself crazy. Mm -hmm. I was going to insanity. I was laughing while I was crying. Mm -hmm. I wanted to kill things. I wanted to kill myself. Dude, I was insane. I was going insane. And this is the reason why I love him. This is why I tap when I attack my wife has the Harley Quinn one on the other oh. side. Oh. But oh. Uh, 
this right here, when I look at it every time, it's just a good reminder of I'm still, I still have it in me and I'm still a human being no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's times that I may get frustrated. I don't get depressed or I don't get suicidal thoughts, but I do get, uh, you know, sad mm -hmm. or angry, you yeah. know, just typical things. And like you said, you acknowledge it you don't try to get rid of it or whatever you just acknowledge that it's there mm -hmm. and that's what meditation is too is yeah. mindfulness you're mindful that it's there and like you said applies whatever whatever you're doing that's that makes you feel happy mm -hmm. you do that thing i like to go to the gym and train i like to meditate mm -hmm. meditating is what i i love meditating but whatever play the game whatever something that makes you feel better mm -hmm. than yeah but, but even though the, the game didn't help me at that time but you get my point. <laughs> it was like something better could have been done there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I used to play the game for like hours, dude. Oh, man. Play Sims or something. I don't know. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that fucking... Uh, I just went... <laughs> Sim this. <laughs> I want to end this simulation. <laughs> ah, man. I didn't get to talk simulation theory with you. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. Probably for another day. Yeah, because yeah. we're, we're... Dude, we're three hours in. I noticed that. I was like, holy shit, we're here for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> I kept looking at the time. I was like, holy shit, we keep going. Okay. But it was dope, man. Yeah. It was like, got a chance to talk about dope shit. Everything. Like, holy shit. Yeah, you know what? I, I I think Kanye said it. You know? I just, you know, just want to... Please don't do a dad joke. No, 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 no. <laughs> I forgot how he said it because I don't want to butcher it. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to create dope shit and do dope things. That's a dad joke. Is it dead joke? No, 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 it's not a dead joke. It's a but that's really bad statement. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I mean, like, I don't know how Kanye is nowadays, but I, I remember that from Dave Chappelle when he quoted that. Hmm. So it's really all, all like what I'm doing is just I like to do dope shit and create dope shit. Yeah. Yeah. And keep doing it, man. Yeah. Keep acting. YouTube. Keep fucking lifting. Keep YouTube, yeah, Instagram, YouTube, and martial art, martial arting, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll keep doing that stuff, yeah. 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 And uh, again, I think that it, the more you put yourself out there, the more opportunities you will come. Of course, I do need to do that. And you have a lot of freedom, man. And I know you know that. So take your ass to New York. I, I will do that with your fucking, uh, your beautiful motorcycle. Yes, yes. And uh, please drive safely. I will. Because those motherfuckers are not playing up Dude, there. Dude, people cannot drive and they need to have their license taken away. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since everyone's on their phones now while they're driving, man. And I'm in my motorcycles like, get off your fucking phone. Yeah. <laughs> I would throw my phone at somebody if I'm driving a motorcycle and they're on their phone. <laughs> hey, you! Huh? Psh, <laughs> smack your fucking head. Exactly. Well, what motorcyclists do, and I don't condone this, but I do find it hilarious, is when a car crosses them off, like, you know, does something negative to them, a motorcycle would drive by and punch their mirror. They punch the mirror? <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> wait. <laughs> they have YouTube videos of this, and it's like, holy Jesus. They punch the mirror? Like, the, oh. the little... Yeah. Like, they'll ride alongside the car, just... Oh and then God. it rides off. I was like, hey, hilarious. you shouldn't have cut them off, man. Come That's on. Hilarious. <laughs> I don't condone it, but it is fun to watch. Do you have a baseball bat? You can just like, you no, just... no, no, no. Oh. That... <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> but like the gloves for motorcyclists are like. They're packed. hard enough. Yeah. yeah. That's why they can do you that. You need a baseball bat, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just thinking of, you remember that game, baseball. Road Rash? Ah, oh, no. Is it one of those like Simpsons games? No, it's a, that one. it's a motorcycle game, a classic uh, PC game that you have weapons and you beat other motorcyclists up. Sounds like Twisted Metal a little bit. Yeah, but it's not, there's no like superpowers and shit like that. What are, not superpowers, uh -huh. like rockets and all that. It's just all right. baseball bat, chains, and knives and shit. You just fucking sh shank right. that motherfucker and make him fall off his motorcycle. I'm not trying to be a uh, ghost rider now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You go beat Ghost Rides in New York City and audition for that role so you can beat Nicolas Cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to forget about that. <laughs> anyway. Yes, yes. Thanks for coming, man. This yeah. was really awesome. Thank, uh, for, thank you for having me, man. I hope you don't get in trouble with uh, the Vietnamese ladies. are going to be after you now. <laughs> oh, after I made that joke? <laughs> I know a good amount of my friends are already like, why the oh, fuck you said that joke? And what the fuck are you saying? If it, you're listening to this now, I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> and also be careful what you wish for because you you know you got the 
the healing of uh, family powers in here. So that now it's like now you're, it's on you. Yeah. So you may just run into the lady, and then you're gonna have to like super strap, super soak strap up yourself so that you don't. You you're absolutely ready for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm be like, um, <laughs> I'm, pff, let's have a kid right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what oh, about God. marriage? Pff, it's expensive. Fuck that. Shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> let's, get, let's do it now. It's um, either you know marriage or kids. You know, I can only do one because I couldn't afford one. <laughs> it's like, nah. just act like a dad. Just tell your dad jokes. Oh, say, I'm an actor. Uh, uh, this is why I wanted to really do it so I can really get into character. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Anyway, all right, all right. Thanks, man. Yeah. Appreciate you coming on. Thank you, thank uh. you. I wish we could capture that, but it's all good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we just shook hands, yeah. audio people, because <laughs> our, our video uh, got fucked up. Cause... It's all good. But uh, yeah, till next time, man. We could talk about something else, whatever sure. other shit. Uh, any other stuff we can talk about? Go to man. New York so you can tell a story. Yeah, I got of how you story. punch some windows in, <laughs> mirrors in. <laughs> For another time. All right, man. One more time. time. What's your Instagram handle? Instagram, you can find me at D Kong, K U O N G, on Instagram. And again, I'm performing Jason and Argonauts in March, the 12th to the 21st. Hope to see you guys there. All right. All right. Peace out, bitches. Peace late. And Vietnamese ladies. <laughs> <laughs>